Okay. We good? Alright. I th should be live, right? Um. Okay, hold on. Let me check that I'm live. I haven't done this in so long. I am live. I don't know why that's the thumbnail for it. I set it as another thumbnail. Is there a way to change that? Also, the music is really loud in my ears. Hold on. I'm just gonna turn this down just a little bit. Just because that's kind of loud in my ears. Um... Why is that the thumbnail, though? Is that really what it looks like? Because I set it as a different thumbnail. I don't know... Oh no. It's the right thumb. Wait, what? Okay, so if you go to the channel, it shows my channel banner as the th thumbnail. But <laughs> when you just look on, on the search, it's the right one. Okay, that's a little confusing. Interesting. Alright, um... Says no one's in here yet. But that also might not be true, because Streamlabs doesn't always show. Oh, now we got people. Hello, people. <clears throat> Alright. I'll wait for... I'll wait like... Uh, I'll wait like five, maybe eight minutes, just for people to come in. Um, and then we'll get started. Also, let me know how the audio levels are, if they're, like, not good. And then if anyone wants to watch this, like, if you guys don't want to sit through the whole stream, I'll have this up as a video afterwards. Or, just, like, as a VOD. Let me just do one thing, because I have to always reassign this button, because it doesn't work when I first load up the game for some reason. Um, hello, hello, what's going on? Let's do this. My microphone's on, right? Please tell me my Okay, microphone's on. God, it's been so long since I've streamed. Um... Alright, we'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait a good few more minutes for people to join in. <clears throat> and then we'll get started. But, uh, hope everyone's excited. It says I got three people in here right now. So. I don't want to make people wait too long, though. But I hope you guys are ready. This should be fun. I'm excited. Uh, a lot of people have told me that it's. The DLC is going to be a lot more um, visual storytelling, so I'm pumped for that. Um, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say about that, because I haven't been told much about the DLC, obviously. Because we're supposed to go into it blind. I wonder if they're gonna be like, okay, for those who know, don't tell me, but I'm, all right, I'm gonna speculate right now what the DLC is gonna be. So from the trailer alone, I wonder if there's gonna be like a new planet maybe that we have to discover, maybe some new quantum rules. Um, so all I know is that it's a horror, it's like horror and it's like more visual storytelling. 
So, maybe it'll be like, like a new planet or a new area. No, I don't think it would be a new area to it, an already existing planet, right? Because where would you even add that? I just don't think you could, yeah. Maybe, maybe in Timber Hearth, but like, I don't know. It's like if I stay in Timber Hearth the whole time, then, you know, the whole space exploration thing goes out the window. So, I don't know. Alright, we'll get started in, like, two more minutes. And then, uh, just want to wait for, yeah, people to join in. <clears throat> Hope everyone's doing good. Hope you guys are chilling right now. You guys got some snacks, maybe a drink. You guys got a blanket. Um, just get cozy. It's funny because it's it's probably nighttime for mostly everyone, but for me it's like nine in the morning. So time zones, man, they are different. Also, I'm very sorry if I'm like awkward when I'm streaming. You guys are gonna get to see the raw version of me. There's a reason why I make YouTube videos that I'm not on Twitch, but um, I have fun whenever I stream. It's a different type of experience. Um, let me just go up. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. I assume I would just like resume from my last save, right? I don't have to start a new one. I hope that's the case. Do 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 do. Wait. Hi. Hi. What's going on? You ready for this? Yeah, resume? Okay. Alright. Should we get started? Let's, let's get started. I feel like if people are gonna join in... I, I feel like if people are gonna join in, like, I don't have to worry about spoilers. I hope everyone knows that, like, this is obviously gonna be spoiling the DLC, but... I don't know, I might say something about the main game, so if you haven't played the main game, probably shouldn't be watching this, but yeah. Finally more people are joining. Yeah, I'm excited. A lot of people said they were excited um, when I announced it on the video. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so we have to go to the museum. Oh, should I get my... Yeah, let me get my spacesuit first so I can just travel around easier. I'm so excited now. Like, this is gonna be the first time I play this game, and like, not to say that I wasn't excited to play it the first time I played it, but like, now I know what it is, so I'm like, really excited. Okay, so, museum, I am, it's been a little bit, it's been a minute, okay. Okay. Wait, I have audio, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> I had to make sure, yeah, okay, music, because, um, when I recorded footage for the last Outer Wilds video, uh, I think it was the, the, where am I going, uh, the, the part where I crashed into the sun, I had to turn music off for that, so I could just get the raw sound effects, so I had to make sure that I turned it back on. Okay, there's the Nomai statue, I think it's the new exhibit over, yeah, oh, new exhibit, alright, what do we got? <clears throat> the radio tower here on Timber Hearth, Timber Hearth, Hearth, is it Hearth or Hearth? I, I actually don't know, Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite, and to this day still houses first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. 
These photos were made possible by the Deep Space Satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Okay. I'm paying, like, close attention now. I, I realize I have to pay super close attention to the horns now. Uh, thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. That's me! Okay. So... I guess... Should I go visit this? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go visit this satellite! Oh, I love this music. Also, let me know if, like, um... The music, or my voice, or whatever, is too loud, too quiet. I feel like it's a little loud in my ears, but it might be good for you guys. Um, and that's what matters. Hearth, like Hearthstone? Okay, that's what I thought it was. I don't know why I said Hearth at first. I think I had a stroke or something. Um, okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. I was like, how do I get up there? And then I was like, oh yeah, I have a spacesuit. Hi, hi. Alright, so we are going to... The satellite. Okay, they said it had a high vertical orbit, so it might be, like, really far up. Let's see if we can't find it. Um... Uh... Where's the interloper? Oh, is that it? No. Let's start Bramble. I thought that little thing right, but that's Whitehole Station, isn't it? Is it? Wait, what is that? That's moving. Oh god! Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna figure this out. God, if I don't even- wait, is that- is that it? What is that? Wait, what? What is that? I don't think I remember seeing that in the original. Sounds good to me? Cool. Dope. Wait, what is that? No, let me- No! No, not the sun! Holy shit, this thing's moving fast. Wait, is this it? Because they said it had a high vertical- Oh god! What is that? Can I- Please? Come here. I'm not gonna hurt you. Well, actually, I don't know if you're a friend or foe. Okay, thank you. I was like, I can't get a lock on this thing. Okay, this thing is traveling fast. And even if I catch up, it's not like I can... Okay, I'm gonna... I, f I feel like that's not it. People who have played the DLC might be like, He just found... I don't know, something that is like way into the game. Okay, I'm an idiot, right? It just goes around the planet? Okay. Also, I don't know how, like... I think the latency is pretty good for the stream. I tested it yesterday. But I think it's like 30 seconds... Um... Off or something? Okay, so... That's the thing that takes pictures in the village. Oh! I am an idiot! You're right, okay. Okay, thank you. I'm an idiot. I was like, <gasps> new clue! <laughs> it's like, no, dude. <laughs> that was something. Man, maybe I need to read that thing again. Maybe I didn't read it close enough. No, I'm wasting time! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to read it again. I don't, I don't like wasting people's time, I'm sorry. Oh, God! Wait, where's the village? Oh, here it is. I'm late. You're all good. We just started. All you missed was me being an idiot. Yeah, you know what? This is... Actually, I'm gonna... I'm not an idiot. I was just stalling for time for more people to come. That's... That was my plan all along. Nothing wasted. We all want to be here. Oh, you guys are very nice. Alright. I'm... I'm gonna... 
read the uh, no we're good we're good pretty sure it's a bit further out okay I'm just gonna read this one more time and then we will go on the adventure it's like I find it and then the thing restarts okay I keep forgetting I can fly. Yeah, sure you did. I swear, it was a part of my master plan. Wait, I'm... Bro, I'm an idiot today. This is not where I'm supposed to go, right? It's literally right here. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm a little nervous because it's my first time streaming in, like, a million years. Okay. This radio tower here is transmission from the first satellite. Yep, 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 yep. These photos were made possible by the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane. Oh, of our solar system. Okay, I thought it was above timber hearth. Okay, I'm, uh, yeah, I am an idiot. Okay. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Oh, that's what that is? Okay. Um, new sub here. I loved your Outer Worlds video essay. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so this thing? Wait, so do I have to go this far out? Wait, can I? S okay, well, let's just go into space. Let's just go far into space. Radio tower. Hmm. Oh, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Oh! Oh, 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 wait, 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 is that on Timber Hearth? Wait, okay, wait. Let's... Let me look around that first. Thank you. Thank you. I need more hints like that, guys. If I'm, like, really stumped, don't be afraid to do that. Because I, I, um... I'm gonna try my best to do it without hints. But at the end of the day, I can be an idiot. Okay. So, okay, I remember what it looked like. Also, I'm a new sub, you have good content? Thank you, I appreciate that. Why was there no notification for 30 minutes earlier? Yeah, I wanted to, like, set that up, but I didn't know how. Like, I was afraid if I set it up and then started the stream, it would be a whole different thing. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, I I'm very new to, or not new, but it's, like, the last time I streamed was, I think, two years ago. <laughs> Um, okay, so, do not spoil, yeah, don't, like, spoil, obviously, the main thing, but if I'm stuck on something for, like, 20 minutes, um, and you want to give me, like, a small, tiny hint, that's okay. Okay, so we're looking for a radio tower. That, that makes more sense than flying all the way to the thing, which would be way out there. Okay. That's the launch tower, Will. Don't be an idiot. Don't be like, oh, that's it. I can also be a very idiot. Yeah. You know what? Let's be idiots together, guys. We can take solace in that. Your miraculous rewrite gives me chills. Just finished it. Oh, thank you. I really liked uh, working on that. Ooh, what is this? Oh, wait. We just came here, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's fly far out so I can get a really good view of the planet. Okay, there's... A oh, also, I said in the beginning, but I assume most people that are watching the stream have played the main game... Because I don't know if I'm going to say anything that spoils it, but just to be safe... Oh, there it is! But yeah, just to be safe, if you haven't played the main game, um, you probably might not want to watch this. Okay. Unidentified signal nearby. What do we got? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, people told me this was a horror 
DLC, so okay. And we're recording. <clears throat> it's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite, and I'm about to visit the... I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let the record show on that historic day, Outer Wilds Ventures has... Ah! They're printing! They're printing! Here they come! Stars above, will you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow. And look, look there! That's Hollow's Lantern. And there's Giant's Deep, and the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless, completely speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system. Looking stunning from every angle in each of these three images, and in color no less. Now this is art. I could stare at these photos forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on. What is that? That can't be right. That's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the photos. Just this one. Ooh, okay. Well, there must... Must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabbro and ask them to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. Ship log updated. Satellite angle 248. Oh, okay, wait. What's that? Oh, is that? No, that those are over there. Wait, what is that? What's the third picture? Wait, what's that? What? I played most of Echoes 2. Um, you're nervous for streaming again? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. You haven't played main game or Echoes. Yeah, I, I mean, that, that should go without saying. Like, if you haven't played it, it, this is about to get spoiled. Okay, let's look at the ship log. Radio tower. Okay, what do we got here? A radio tower designed to receive photos by the deep space satellite. There are several photos on, of the entire solar system hanging on the walls. Hornfels noticed something strange in one of the photos, but concluded equipment malfunction was the only sensible explanation. Okay. Should we talk to Hornfels then? He also talked about Gabbro. Um, is that how you say his name? Gabbro? Did you ever see the original trailer for Echoes? Uh, yeah. I think it was the original trailer. I just want to check if there's anything else. Can I, like, identify this signal? Deep space radio, okay. My OCD was just gonna be like, Ooh, wait, wait, what's over here? Ooh, campfire. Yeah, I think I saw the original. I included it in the video. If that's not the original, then... Uh, no, I have not seen it. Ooh, hello. Despite... Despite checking on them at least a thousand times over, these images are still not ready to print in the radio tower. Well, it's like they say, a watch satellite never transmits data. That's a little joke for you, journal. No one says that. Someday I'll have to study the mechanics of how time manages to slow to a syrupy crawl. That's... I've never heard someone say it like that. Uh, whenever I'm anticipating something. In the meantime, I've turned to Gabbro, our resident expert, and leisurely whiling away the hours, who recommends the following. Gabbro's three... Foolproof steps for dozing off. Light a nice cozy campfire and get comfortable. Gaze deeply into the serene warmth. Let time begin to slip away as you allow the flames to lull you into a peace slumber. peaceful slumber. If Gabbro knew I'd taken notes, they'd probably think I'd finally cracked, but I refuse to accept sass from an astronaut who deliberately burns their marshmallows. Bro, okay. I don't know why, when, when you roast marshmallows in this game... Ooh, light... Yeah, okay, when you roast marshmallows, and then you burn it, and then you eat it, he's like, ugh. And it's like, bro, burnt marshmallows, especially when you have the two graham crackers, I mean, you gotta make s'mores, right? Burnt marshmallows are good, okay? I'm not saying I'd have them every single time. Look on the wall. Whoa, whoa! That's, is that Capra? Wait. What? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we're- Alright, we gotta go visit him. We gotta be like, yo, bro. What's up with this? So true. I thank you. Someone's on my side about this. Okay, how far into the loop are we, by the way? Mmm. Well, Brittle Hollow looks like it's half destroyed. I'd say we're probably halfway through. 
Oh, we are too close for the autopilot. Burnt marshmallows are great because they melt the chocolate. Yes! Thank you! My man kept his promise. Hell yeah. I was really excited to play this, so. Gabbro was echo of the eye. We solved it. Ladies and gentlemen, we figured it out. Oh god! No, don't put me in space. You're the put me in the space one, right? Probably. Um. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There he is. We gotta go on the other side. There he is. My man. Man, crazy weather we've been having, right? We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hey, uh, what's up? Hey, time pal. Nice weather we're having. Hey, I just said that. Um, uh, I found something. Um, I reached inside the statue island. No, my mass. Found your quantum poem. Oh, I found a photo of you inside the old radio tower. Nice. Did I look busy in it? I hope I looked busy. Must have been from the time Hornfell sent me to check on the deep space satellite. That old spacey might be malfunctioning, but I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is probably how it got sh a shot of my beautiful bee-helmeted face, come to think of it. I always thought it was kind of sweet. The best way to find old spacey is to use a map that's generated by the satellite itself, isn't it? Like it's inviting us to visit. Good old deep space satellite, always making sure we know where we're going. Wait. It was kind of sweet to use a map that's generated by the satellite itself. Oh, wait, so the satellite... Okay. I thought that the the angle from the picture it took, that's where it was. But you can find it on the map itself. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, why did Hornfell say it was broken? Don't know. Probably told him, he probably told me why, but Hornfell tells me a lot of things, and sometimes I tune out, or pretend there's a signal interference and I can't hear them. Um, but I guess the deep space satellite must have sent Timber Hearth some weird pictures. They're like, what's considered weird for a satellite, you know? Anyway, if you ever want to visit Old Spacey, fastest way to jump into your ship, fastest way is to jump into your ship and use the solar system map to lock onto the satellite, same as you would any astral body. Simple. Um, wait, do I need to ask him any more questions? Uh, old spacey? I mean, the satellite's not super old, but it's hardly brand new. Old is more of a term for affection. Uh, you're being very literal minded about this. Old spacey likes visitors, you know? Uh, yeah, okay, so. I understand what the title means now. Yeah, Echoes of the Eye. Hey, what's up, Aiden? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so... Let's find this thing. Where are you? Hmm. That's... Oh, that's okay. I know what that is. That's the brittle hollow stuff. Dark bramble... What? Oh, that's the sun. Okay. Um. There are mods for this game? Oh, do tell. What kind of mods? Am I sure that's not it? Yeah, that's not it. That's Whitehall Station. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Vert vertical expansion. Yeah, okay. Right, okay. Let's go. Oh, oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you, Giant Steep. Let's go. This man is blind. I, I, I am. I'm so sorry. Do not fear failure. You'll find your answers by at least one of the three virtues of arrival. It's not on the same planet as the rest of the planets. Yeah, yeah. There's story mods like Vision and the Outsider. Interesting. 
I might have to check them out. Gonna be two that I know of. Quality of life mods too. Maybe I'll check it out after um I beat this. I'd be interested to see what uh type of like story mods there are. Alright, let's go. Oh, this thing's moving fast! No! Don't you escape me! Oh god! We're coming in hot! Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Everyone just chill. Don't die, Will. We're going in. Okay. Loop, don't you end right now. I'm on the verge of discovering something. Gabber here, checking on the Deep Space Satellite per ground re control's request to check out a possible equipment problem. See, Hornfells, I do work too. You know, I wouldn't wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here, among the distant stars and soft, velvety darkness. But it's ooh, awfully nice for naps, too. Oh, right, the lens. All right, little satellite, let's see what the trouble is. Huh, everything looks A-OK, -okay, ground control. No dusk or scratches on the lens, and no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. Okay. May I... What is it? 2-0... That's probably just the coordinates, right? That it's broadcasting. Hmm. What? Wait, unidentified signal. Oh, duh. The fucking satellite. <laughs> it's like, what is it? Um. Okay. So. Wait, okay, so if it's not... Some of the game jam mods are really good? Is that so? Okay, hold on. Um, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. The lens. No dust or scratches on the lens. It saw something from the sun. That looks like it's about to... Is this about to end? I don't know. Uh, the loop might end soon. Hmm. You'll figure it out? Thank you! I will try my best. Okay, wait. So, there are numbers being displayed on this thing. Okay. I, I need a pen and paper. 287 point... I, but I feel like this is just the coordinates it's at, right? I don't know. I never know! Let me see. Does this, like, just keep going up? Yeah. But is there any way to- there's no way to track coordinates on- oh my god, where am I? Okay. How much oxygen do I have? Okay. Um... What do these numbers mean? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Didn't- Weren't there photos on... Yeah, there were photos in the radio tower. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we need to go back. God, I'm, I'm definitely gonna need a pen and paper. Okay. Oh, God, let me in! Um, let me just... Yeah, let's just meditate. Okay. Let me get... I have some post-it notes over here that I haven't opened even. Okay. There's a lot of dust on notes. It's the rotational angle at 360, warps around to zero. Okay. Where's a pen? I need a pen. Excuse me.
Excuse me, Mr. Keyboard. All right, does this pen work? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. There are a few secret satellites hidden in the outskirts of the solar system that have Easter on them. Hmm. Don't backseat. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, um, like, like I said, like, if I'm really, really stuck on something, don't be afraid to, like, give me the smallest hint, but, uh, yeah, I'll, like, I'll, I'll try to figure it out. I'll do my best. Okay, so, radio tower. Radio tower. Let's go to the radio tower. Mark location. Okay, so, there are coordinates on this thing that we need to find. No, you didn't backseat. No, you definitely didn't backseat. Backseating would be like, go to the radio tower, or, no, it would, it would be more like, it would, if you told me what the numbers were, and you were like, you need to wait until blah blah blah, that would be backseating. But you giving me small hints, that's totally fine. Don't worry about them. Um, okay, so, th okay, this is 350. That's 350 degrees. Um, so... Okay, and that, like, there's, there's, like, okay, I'm gonna write small thing in front of sun. Okay, that's shaking the microphone, I'm sorry, when I write. Satellite angle 40 degrees, okay, 40 degrees, small thing, kind of, oh, no, I'm running out of ink. Kind, this is an old pen. No, kind of in front of the sun. Okay. Um, um, okay. Um, and then this one is 137 and it's his beautiful face. I'm just going to record it. Well, actually, no, because he said there was nothing wrong with it. I'll write it down, but I'm just going to say 137 is Gabro. So, like, if we have nothing, then we'll come back to this one. And then this one, there's nothing as well, right? 248? Yeah, I'll write it down, though, just in case. 248 degrees normal. Okay. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, we have to go to the thing, uh, wait, no, hold on, I want to go to, where is it, where is it, there it is, you come here, wait, okay, so 240, okay, I think maybe it's close to it right now, and we're off! When pens do that, don't you hate? Yeah, that uh, just happens. Hate when that happens. You know what I was thinking the other day is, I know I keep comparing this game to other games, um, but I like whenever I played this game, I also got like a big Kerbal Space Program uh, sort of vibes. Did anyone ever play that game? Because I tried playing it. It's like one of those games that I desperately want to be good at, but I just know I won't be because I'm just so bad at it. I don't know, I love space games like this. I even played No Man's Sky when it launched, and for the first two days I was like, this isn't bad, and then I was like, okay, I have to face the music. Some people told me that, like, this was- this game was, like, a, a lesser version of No Man's Sky. And even I, like, this was before I made my video, even I was like, what? That, like, these- that's what? Like, I know I compared it a little bit to Subnautica, but, like, even then, like, No Man's Sky is, like, so different from even, like, this, or, or even Subnautica. Kerbal Space Program is the logic of spaceflight as Outer World is the emotion of spaceflight. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh. 
Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's that's the wrong button. I'm playing this on a PS4 controller, so every time it says X, I'm like, I, I keep pressing like A. No. Okay, stop. Okay, where are we? We are at 71.2. Okay, none of those match the coordinates I want. So, I guess we just wait until it goes up. Should I? Hmm. I like that the recording is following it. Like it's going in a loop. Okay, so what's the closest one? I guess it would be 137, but that's the Gabbro one. Oh man, so we just missed 40 degrees with the thing. Okay, let me just look at the sun too before. Okay, I don't see anything. All right, ship, let's go back in. You can't describe this Outer Worlds flight? Yeah. Outer Worlds is just like, I don't know. It gives me such like a cozy vibe at times. And then other times it gives me like, um, scary vibes. Yeah, No Man's Sky, the only thing the same is like, it's space. Okay, so I feel like I should just should I go meditate, or not meditate, um, like, rest of the campfire, maybe? Because, okay, so our next one, so we missed the 40 degrees one, so the next one that has that thing in front of the sun is 350 degrees, and right now we're at, what, we're at, like, 90? Well, how fast is this thing going? Like, maybe we could just wait it out, because the ship is following it. We're at 100 and... Eight. So it goes up. It goes up like what? 0.2 every second? Yeah. So. Ugh, math. Oh god. I don't know. Um. I still want to like fly away and then we miss it again. The Outer Wilds effect. You think everything is now a time loop. Yeah, man. More games need to do, like, time mechanics. Not, like, necessarily time loop like this. But I wish more games would do, like, time sort of mechanics. Like, did you guys ever play Titanfall 2? And that, uh, because it has this, like, one level where you have to use, um, time travel to get past certain obstacles. And I was like, oh my god, that's so creative. I wish more games would do stuff like that. It takes the entire loop to go around. Oh. Okay, let's just, okay. We'll keep it locked on. But let's, well, I don't know. Because mm, mm, mm. I don't want to miss it. But I don't know. I wish there was a way to like, my ship's computer doesn't give me any like, Oh, you were at this degrees, right? Mortal Kombat 11 villain be like? They do that in Mortal Kombat? Did you guys see, um... This is completely unrelated, but, uh... Someone said Mar Mortal Kombat. Oh my god, I keep forgetting. Space. There is no air resistance. Did you guys see, um... Trailers for the new Street Fighter game? Because a friend of mine showed me... And it looks really fun. This is what we're doing while we're just waiting for the satellite. Are you guys having a good time, by the way? Because that's, like, what I care about the most, is you guys are having fun. I'm sure we'll get into this, like, as soon as I just go up for... God dang it. Okay. Come to me. Okay. 
Okay, okay, and stop. Why not try the autopilot? Bec uh, uh, oh, yeah, you, you're right. <laughs> this is fun to watch? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Glad you guys are having a good time. Alright, let me just see where we're at right now. If we're still, like, not even at 110, then we'll leave. Oh, we're at 150. Okay, we'll, we'll wait here. We'll chill here. And I guess while we wait, we can talk about, I don't know, video games? So how about this? Okay, while we're waiting, let's talk about video games. Everyone give me their top three favorite video games. I wonder how many of you guys are going to say Outer Worlds is number one. Or at least in your top three. I'm curious. Because a lot of people who commented on the video were saying things like, Oh, this is my favorite game. So I'm curious what other games you guys like. It's nice to sit and watch the stars die. I guess there is something peaceful about that, yeah. Even if we have loops devoid of clear progress, we still get to be here. Oh, that's a nice, nice message. I'm trying to break Endless Canyon right now with a routing exploit. Endless Canyon? Outer Wilds slash Echoes, Celeste, and Portal 2. Oh, bro, Portal 2. I could replay that game like a million times. That's like the puzzle game. I haven't played Celeste yet. I've heard it's really good though. Celeste Hollow Knight. You know what? I still have to play Hollow Knight because someone gifted it to me like a while ago and I haven't played it yet. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk towards it. Thanks. Outer Wilds. Ultra Kill, Tunic, in no particular order. What is Ultra Kill? Celeste is good. I've heard really good things about it. Hold on, I'm gonna look this up. Ultra Kill? Ultra Kill. Fast Pace, Ultra Violent, Retro FPS, combining skill-based scoring. Oh, this looks kind of cool. This looks like a run-and-gun kind of game. Outer Wilds Journey Overwatch. Journey. Journey's an old game, but it's really good. Journey and, like, Inside are, like, really good uh, story games. Overwatch is good, too. But Overwatch can frustrate the hell out of me. Plus, I live in Korea, so I'm playing on Korean servers, and these guys are really good at Overwatch. So I get my ass kicked every time. Um, but very, very um, low latency, so you gotta love that. Celeste, I... Iconoclast and Shikori are close. I've heard of a Iconoclast. What is Shikori? Outer Wilds, Minecraft, and the Bi the Binding of Isaac and Rain World. Man, all of you have Outer Wilds. That's awesome. Portal Two and Minecraft are pretty close. Minecraft's a classic, man. What is okay? Wait, what is it? Shikori. I'm gonna have like a lot of games to look up after this stream. Am I saying that right? Or is it chicory? I don't know. Oh, this looks kind of cute. Hollow Knight. Ori. Ori in the Blind Forest. I watched uh, someone do a Let's Play on that. See, for me, I would say my top three... I'm gonna get hate because Outer Wilds isn't on it. I'm sorry. I do like this game, but it's not my top three. I would say my top three are... Um, uh, Spider-Man for the PS4. I actually have a video of me talking about that. Uh, and then my second would be Skyrim, uh, because I'm basic. And then number three is Borderlands 2. Okay, so where are we right now? 216, we need to be at 350. Yeah, 248 was the normal one. But, you know what, we'll, we'll be careful, you know, we'll be safe, and we'll look at it at 248 as well. Uh, Shikori Colorful Adventure, you play as a dog named- Okay, well, let me get into the spaceship before I start reading comments. <laughs> okay. Refuel the jetpack. Uh, you play as a dog named after your favorite food with a magic paintbrush. That sounds really fun. I'm gonna have to look that up. SMPs are fun. SMP... I know I've heard that before. SM... 
P. I know what it is. It's a, um, hold on. I'm thinking with my brain right now. I, it's, you see, um, uh, uh, and, um, you see, SMPs are uh, survival multiplayer maps on Minecraft. That's, I just, just remember that. Nosha is also there for me. Hollow Knight and Outer Wilds are the only games to truly change my life. Is Hollow Knight that good? Maybe I gotta play it. 350 shows Brittle Hoddle. Oh, is that what that was? I don't know. Um, Outer Wilds and Hollow Knight 1 and 2, and I play a lot... Wait, Hollow Knight 2? There's a Hollow Knight 2? And I play a lot of Smash Ultimate. Oh, dude, Smash Ultimate. Wait, okay, for those who play Smash, what's your main? Um, because before Ultimate, I played Ice Climbers a lot. And a lot of people did not like me for that. And then for Ultimate, I play as... Oh, it's been so long, so I don't remember her name. But the the girl from Splatoon. My best friend plays uh, a lot of Marth. And he's way better than me. Firewatch, What Remains of Edith Finch. Dude, I loved Firewatch and What Remains. What Remains of Edith Finch was like one of my favorite video game stories for a long time. And then Firewatch. Oh god, did I miss it already? God, okay, this thing moves fast. Okay, well, that 248 was the normal picture. So, I think we're good. Okay, I gotta be careful on this. I'll just keep checking it, like, every, like... Every now and then. Oh, God, where's the ship? Okay. <laughs> Kirby? Oh, Kirby's a good one to main. I feel like Kirby is, like... Um... I don't want to say like good for beginners because i don't know i think ice climber is actually good for beginners you can't do the wombo combo if you're a beginner but i don't know lucas oh lucas is a lot of fun lucas and ness hollow knight silk song isn't out yet um uh wait hold on smash bros main wario king dd uh you're King Didi main, okay. <laughs> I've had a lot of anger against King Didi. Love Kerbal Space Program, but I can only get to the moon. Yeah, and I, it would always be like the f the worst moon landing ever. I haven't played Smash in a while. Yeah, me neither, actually. I also mean Inkling, that's it. Inkling, thank you. Ness and DK. Ness is cool, man. Try time. Time to drop the bomb that Kirby is the shard of a shattered god. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That would make sense. Kirby's OP, dude. Okay, where are we? <laughs> 282. 283. Okay, we have to be at 350, so we'll be here for a little while. Okay. What else can we talk about? Oh, get back in. So, okay, so a lot of you guys really like story-type games. That's cool. Kirby lore is great stuff. Is there a lot of Kirby lore? Kirby can probably beat Goku. Dude, I, okay. I'm gonna be real. Um, and sorry to all you Dragon Ball fans. I love saying, like, any character can beat Goku. Because Dragon Ball fans get really angry at that. I really liked it when... Because my favorite show is One Punch. And those who know One Punch knows like the main character is literally op like he can beat anyone that's because it's a joke character so i remember when i was first looking up stuff about the show i came across a thread that was like who would win in a fight saitama or goku and i was like well this is a joke thread and then everyone was like trying to justify why goku would win and i was like no bro <laughs> he won't people really want goku to be the most powerful man Mr. Magician Man, have you considered looking at the photos again? Can I? I mean... I, I mean, I know I can, but I, I, but we're almost there. Okay, look, alright. If we find nothing at 350, I will look at the photos again. Speaking of which, let me look at this again. No! Okay. Come here, satellite. 
Where am I? Ooh, you are traveling fast. The ship's traveling with it, right? I think so. It's just not right behind it. Okay, 313. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. I doubt anybody has heard of it, but Voices of the Void has been pretty fun and terrifying. Hmm. I love Kirby lore. Kirby is a messenger of God. You've got a big storm incoming? Has deeper lore than most games. No way, really? Isn't Kirby, like, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but the only thing I know about Kirby is, isn't the character of Kirby, like, a little child, and he's supposed to grow into, like, something even more powerful? And then I heard something, like, Meta Knight... I, I heard some... Whoa, wait, something's... Hold on, guys. Oh, okay, it's just the music. Um, I heard something, like, Meta Knight is is like an adult curb oh wait no wait isn't this the ending loop is this the ending loop music oh god are we about to end oh no oh no wait wait but, but i'm not ready yet i listen to the soundtrack of outer wilds and echoes of the eyes it's so good dude Soundtrack of Outer Wilds, amazing. What's your opinion on Pikmin? Love it. I only played Pikmin 2 um, and a little bit of 3, but I'm definitely going to play 4 when it comes out. Okay, wait, wait, where are we? 339, 340, okay. We have 10 more degrees, you guys. This is going to be something. Hello, Quantum Moon. Oh, wait, no, it's Timber Hearth. Kirby is an eldritch god or something? Is he really? Um, before your eyes, it's the game that tracks your eye blinks. No! Wait, what? Por que? Wait. No. Okay, we gotta look at these pictures again. <laughs> I think I may have messed something up. But we're at 350. What? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's Giant Steve. No. Okay. End time slaps. Yeah, it does. What? 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 Wait. What? What was that? What? Huh? Huh? Wait, what? That, that was new. <laughs> if you don't know Kirby lore, then oh boy, I could certainly fill you in. Please do. Wait. Okay, but... <gasps> what? What was that? Okay, 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 wait, wait, okay, so, let's, okay, let's go back to the radio tower first, okay? <laughs> you were too far away to be exploded by the sun. Oh, okay, man, I thought I discovered something. Okay, radio tower. Let's go. Void is Kirby, but depressed. I would love if this whole stream just turned into me playing the game while we talk about Kirby lore. Um, okay. Do 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 do. Hello. Okay, we're gonna stare really closely. <gasps> okay. That does kind of look like a planet. Wait, what does the recording say again? Okay. Uh, the printing... Okay, what is that? That's not even possible. Am I interpreting these photos correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the other photos. Just this one. Okay, so it's only one photo. 
There must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabbro and ask them to go examine the satellite lens for defects. Hi. Okay, he said there's nothing wrong here. So, I'm gonna say this one is no for right now. Okay, that's Dark Bramble, that's Giant's Deep, that's Hollow's Lantern, Brittle Hollow. Those are the uh, Hourglass Twins, the Interloper. What is that? Is that Timber Hearth? I think so. Yeah, because that's the Adder Lock. I don't know what that is. So this one looks normal. This one... Okay, that's Brittle Hollow, Hollow's Lantern, Dark Bramble, Interloper... Hourglass Twins, Giant's Deep, Quantum Moon. Okay, so that's probably Timber Hearth then. So this. Okay. Hourglass Twins, Interloper, Giant's Deep. Mm -hmm. Is that Timber Hearth? Okay, so it's at 40 degrees. Okay, 40 degrees. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. That's the name you should know. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if, like, I missed your comments, by the way, guys. Um, I'm trying to read as best as I can. Okay, so, okay. We gotta- oh, wait, no, don't. Let's get out of space first. Does time pause when I- no, it doesn't. So, yeah. I gotta be careful when doing that. Okay, we have to- God, so we can't miss it. We gotta be quick. So, if we miss it, we gotta meditate. Go! Autopilot, engage! Kirby lore is deeper than FNAF lore? Oh my god, that's deep, dude. Kirby lore. A long time ago, there were ancients of tech and magic. These ancients of magic worshipped a being known as Void, a limitless well of all forms of matter in neutral forms. Oh my god, this is Kirby lore? I did not expect this when I was playing a game like Kirby's Air Ride, Epic Air Ride, or... What is it, Epic Yarn Adventure? That game was fun. These matters are dream, dark, soul, and heart, and miracle. Oh my god, I'm like excited to know more about Kirby. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so. Please don't have already passed 40 degrees. Autopilot, hello? Autopilot took the day off, I guess. It was like, eh, autopilot, we'll kind of get you there. Okay. Please don't be past 40. Where are we? No, is it past 40? Okay, well, we gotta, uh, sorry, recording. Can I see anything? I'm gonna meditate. We have the answers now. But we were, like, just barely past 40. So, if I go right away, I should be able to get it. Void Termas theme slaps. It's so good. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning, you guys. I'm doing the thing. You should watch a Kirby lore video at the end of the stream today. Yo, you guys want to end on that? Just watching, like, Kirby lore stuff after we beat this game? At a certain point, there was a nightmare of cataclysm events. Oh my god, I love this so much. And the only ancient, uh, magic that could- s Only the ancient magics could solve it. However, after this- Hold on. Okay, we gotta go. Go, 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 go. Once I get an autopilot, I'll read the rest of that. However, after this- the ancients of tech exploited what were shown. I love this. This is like story time. Sure, yes. Okay. You guys would have to recommend me a video. <laughs> People who watch this VOD are going to be like, What? What is going on? <laughs> Alright. Because I, like, I have all day. Because it's like 10 a.m. for me. So, I can just do whatever, whatever I ever want. So, if y'all want to watch Kirby after this, I'm down. 
Are you gonna beat it in one stream? Uh, that is the plan. I, like, people told me it wasn't that long, so... That, that's possible, right, guys? To beat it in one stream? Okay, where are we? Stop! Okay, 12, okay. Okay. We're good. Yes, we should. Okay, yeah. Uh, to the- I'm, I'm assuming you said yes to the Kirby thing. They used what they learned to share Shatter Void, wanted to enslave its shards to power massive clockwork engines, machines the size of stars with the power to grant wishes. What the fuck? This is so deep. We need to find stuff for them to watch. Yeah, that's your guys' mission while we wait for this. It's kind of possible. Depends on how smart you are. Okay, um, I'm thinking then the longest we'll stream for is maybe three hours then. If we can't beat it, we'll do it on another part next weekend. I would love to do it like tomorrow, but I have work tomorrow and also time zones because I live in Korea. Um, it's kind of tricky. Like by this time tomorrow, I'll be at work. So... I guess I could stream it like early in the morning for you guys at like 8 a.m., which would be like 8 or 9 p.m. here, but I just don't, because people might also have work in the morning or school, you know. I don't think you're going to be in one stream. You have to be really clever. Okay, we'll do, we'll do it in two streams then. However, Void Cores was sent on a warpath in response to being shattered. I have to keep looking at the screen. Uh... Four to five heroes are just to the void terminal away. We know these heroes used what these heroes used as void copy that which defeated it. Whoa. That's crazy. I yeah, I'm whoa, wait, 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 hold on. What's this? What is that? Can I lock onto that? Can I go to that? Wait, wait, what? Uh uh. Oh, uh, okay. I, I guess I didn't plan this out. What is that? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Uh, 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 buckle up. We're going in, boys. I see it. What? Oh, that is... What? Did I miss it? I missed it, didn't I? Dang it! Okay. Hold on, I'm just gonna fly towards the sun. Okay, not into the sun. Thank you, God, no! Okay. I know what we have to do now. We have to get to that again, and I'm staying in the ship this time, and... We gotta reset. Um, and I don't... Let's do it the fun way. Meditating is for losers. We're going out in a literal blaze of glory. Go! This is taking a lot longer than I thought. F. Yeah, can we get Fs in the chat? Um, the Jamba Heart that Void Termina was sealed in upon its defeat was only sealed with the four spears. However, we can guess that the fifth hero was the Lord Highness, the High Priestess of Magic Ancients. This is all Kirby stuff? Were you born in Korea or moved there? If so, from where? No, I was born in, um, America. I moved here, uh, because I really like Korea and Korean culture. And I am now an English teacher. I've been here for... Actually, as of like three weeks ago, I'm going on two years, yeah. You missed a bit of Kirby lore? Aw, oh, dang it. I'm sorry. 
Um, okay, okay, okay. Everyone chill. We're, we're gonna do this. Raise this up. Based on the weapons that the Void... Turn Hold on, let me autopilot first and then I'll read that. Okay. Based on the weapons that Void... Terminus memory shell summons as you fight it. There was a swordsman, a spearsman, an axeman, a bowman, and the master's crown. This is all Kirby stuff. This is crazy, dude. Yeah, we're a thousand percent watching Kirby videos after this. Yeah, I'll say we'll do a stream. We'll play this for like three hours. So we have like two more hours. Um and then we'll pick it up next weekend. But we will end off on Kirby lore stuff, because I am way too invested in this now. Gonna assume you're in South Korea. I am indeed in South Korea. Um, I'm like... Um, I'm kind of like in the middle of the country, so I'm not like near Seoul. I would say like, yeah, I'm like right in the middle of the country. In a very small town. Okay. We are at what degrees? 12. Okay, as soon as I see this thing, we are stepping on the gas, you guys. As soon as that gets to, like, 30, I'm just staring at the sun. And the moment I see it, I am going to zoom on it. Deeper than FNAF floor. Yeah, you guys are right. Austin, fair enough. Uh... Wait, Austin? Like, you were- you live in Austin? Because I was born in, uh, Dallas. And then I moved to, uh, Florida when I was, like, eight. So. If anyone was curious... We're at 25, okay. You know what? Don't- okay. We're just gonna look at it. I'm not even gonna- No! I'm sorry! Don't knock it! Don't knock it! Don't knock it! No! Did I- The silence for cartographer. I would like to apologize on behalf of my idiocy. I am uh, what you would refer to as a moron. Um, please stand by while we correct the moron's mistakes. Thank you. Oh, you're talking. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry, I'm like concentrating on three different things. <laughs> talking to a guy named Austin. Anyways. Many shards of Void escape capture and manifest in various ways, including Kirby, who is most likely a well of positive dream and dark matter. Fs, yeah. More Fs in the chat, guys. Okay. You can do this, Will. You have learned. I told you guys at the beginning of the stream I'm an idiot. In most of our early games, negative dark matter is your chief enemy. This is the longest I've ever seen someone stuck here. I'm um, yeah, I told you guys, I told you. If you if you're smart enough, you might do it in one stream. Alright, this might take me three streams. Oh god. All of us did the same thing? I hope so. Guys, lie to me. Just just lie to me and tell me you guys did that too. Just be like, no, it's okay. We totally were stuck here this long. I definitely think streaming this is like making it a lot more fun too. Because if I had been stuck here for a long time like this, I probably might have been like, okay, I need to take a break. But talking to y'all have been has been really fun, so. Thanks for helping me pass the time. Okay, you know what? I'm not even... Okay. I'm just gonna get out of the spaceship now. There we go. My, nus my nice supple body will not hurt this uh, satellite. We're at 17. Okay. The moment that gets to 25, I'm getting in the spaceship. 
Um, do, 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 do. You gotta stop spoiling. Oh, good thing I didn't see it. Kirby's big gimmick, the copy ability. Ooh, boy. We're finally getting to this. Okay, okay, it's coming. Get in the ship, get in the ship, get in the ship. Get in the ship! Thank you. Okay. Don't, don't! Careful. It's like you're dealing with an egg, a baby egg. Wait. Yeah, all, all eggs are babies. So. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I'm not even looking at that satellite anymore. I'm right at the sun. The moment I see it. I, I will look at comments in a minute. I gotta focus on this. No. Yeah. Match velocity with that. Get ready. I see it. We're going in. Go, go, go. I don't care. I don't care that it's offline. I see it. We're going in. I'm going. Come on. Come on. And oh god. What happened? Whoa, where are we? Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, everything's broken. Okay, um, uh, okay, uh, uh, uh. What the fuck? No, 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 Get, get, get back, get back, 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 back. I don't know what this is, but get back in. Everything's damaged. Get in. Get in. Get in, 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 get in. Oh, we made it. I don't know what this is, but we made it. Okay. Repair everything. We did it, boys! Can we get a W chat? What is this music, dude? Okay, what else is broken? I know I should explore. Everyone's like screaming at me to explore. I know, but I'm I'm so OCD. I have to fix everything. It's my lovely spaceship. It got me here. It deserves my respect and care. Okay. Oh, the DLC finally begins. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry if I miss Kirby lore. Okay. Where are we? I hope to God the loop doesn't end right now. Unknown language. Can't translate it. I'm, just, I'm looking every nook and cranny. Okay. Alright. Let's just go. What is this? Oh. Massive W. Let's do this. I paused the Kirby lore rant. Okay, okay, cool, cool. When we get some downtime, we can pick it back up. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, use your brain, Will. Come on. Do I have to match the symbols? I did it? Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I think I need this one. Oh wait, okay, so. Okay, I'm guessing it needs to be at a point where all of these are like cleared from this door. So, if, oh, man, is there a way to just do the top? Or, like, just the bottom, you know? Oh, I did it! I'm such a genius. I did that all... Uh, none of that was by accident. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. 
What the fuck? Where am- Oh my god! Is this like a ring planet? Are we on Halo right now? Oh, okay, so this steers it. Okay, okay. Yo, this is so cool! What the fuck? Completely intentional. Thousand percent. Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop! Go this way! Go this way! Can I just fly up? Oh, no. It's gonna- Okay, cool. You figured out the airlock I've ever seen anyone? Welcome to Halo now? Oh, great, great. I love Halo, dude. This is great. Music is so good. Are you talking about Halo or this? Because both you would be correct. I mean, so far I've liked the music on this, but Halo's music is uh, literally epic, iconic. Okay, so I really hope the loop doesn't end and I have to do this all over again. It probably will, but like, yeah, I imagine it can't be that hard to like get back here. But how do I get past the airlock? Cause I, guys, I don't know what I did for the airlock. <laughs> oh no, okay. What is that? Drop lantern, no. Alright, this is my lantern. There are many like it, but it, this is mine. Seeing first time reactions to the view? Dude, it's awesome. <sighs> okay, sorry, I was reading comments, okay. No, it's my lantern. Okay, just stay there, buddy. I'll be back. I'll find a way to fix you. Okay, so most everything reacts to light. Aha! I opened the door to this part. <laughs> Go me. Use interface. Mmm. Yes, I see. Mm-hmm. Can I use the interface, like, here? When the door's closed, maybe? No, okay, so this has gotta be something... With this, maybe? Oh, wait. Huh. Okay. Let's... Let me just see something. If I rotate it again... Is that, is that different? I don't know if that's different. Let me just look one more time. That doesn't look different, no. Maybe I have to put something in here? Lantern? I doubt that's the option, but it's my lantern. We're picking this back up. Um. Okay. Already holding lantern? Wait. Remove slide reel. Oh, okay. Now we can put this back in. Okay, so. Okay. No, get up. Okay, there's the sun. Oh, I can, like, see it in the thing. Okay. Man, I, like, I wanna... Okay, hold on. I don't wanna be here forever, I wanna go explore more, but at the same time, I wanna know what this is. Wait, what is that one? Okay, hold on. That looks the same, does it? What is that, though? Trying to go fast. Is this changing? I don't think this is changing, you guys.
hold on. I will look at comments in a second. Okay, it is changing. Um, it semi works. Wait a minute. I'm an idiot. Can I just use a lantern to light this up? Okay. There's got to be other lanterns, right? There's no way this is the only one. I'm carrying it because this is mine. Okay, there's more slide projections. Okay. First thing is first, we need to find a not broken lantern, but we're taking this broken lantern with us to remind us that even though things may seem bad, we can always make them better. I don't know. I'm trying to be inspirational. I spent a long time getting here. Yes, I did. But you know what? It was the journey that was fun because we learned a lot about Kirby. Okay. Hey, bro not Broken Lantern. Goodbye, Broken Lantern. I love you. Ah, okay. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of Not Broken Lanterns here. Okay. Okay. Going to repost and ensure just mentioning the 34 minutes to give you an expectation on how much time you have to prep for Kirby stuff. 34 minutes, okay. Okay. Insert lantern. Boom! I am not the dumbest man alive. What just happened? Uh-oh. Well. This is new. Um... Was that because I put the lantern in, or is that just like the worst timing ever? Okay, I need to get onto the boat. Boat, come here! Thank you. Okay, we need to go... I don't actually know where we need to go. Oh, damn. Oh, damn indeed. That's unfortunate. We're going on an adventure, you guys. If that was just really bad timing, oh my god, dude. That's like something out of a movie! <laughs> Ship log updated. Alright, we have surfaced. Okay. Um, because that was like as soon as I put it in, the <laughs> freaking dam broke. Was that just really bad timing? That was bad timing? Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought, because I was like, there's no way. Right? Damn, that's like something out of a movie, dude. <laughs> it's like... I'm like both bad and good, because someone said, like, I got the airlock thing really quick, but it took me a while to get here, and then I just had the worst timing on that. Okay. What is this place? Like, okay, this is obviously not Nomai. They're like deer people. I like deer, they're cool. Hmm. Alright, Halo. What other secrets do you hold? Wait, is the water rising? I don't know. Nailed it. Okay, that's where I came from. Wait, what's over there? Okay, you need to stay right here. Don't move. Don't you move. Yeah, come to me. Okay. Hmm. That thing? Hmm. They're called Alks by the community. Part Owl, part Elks. Ooh, I like that name. Ship log updated. Okay. What is this? Oh, jetpack stuff. Dope. Thank you, Alks. It's a fan name, so it's arguably not a spoiler. Yeah, no, if it's if it's a fan name, like that's fine.
Wait, okay, so if the dam broke right there... Hold on, let's look at this, you guys. Oh god, what is past that? That kind of looks scary, but I kind of want to try it. Where'd my ship go? It left me. I told it to stay right there. The audacity of this ship. You know what? Ship 2, you're coming with me. We're going on an adventure. Oh, I like this music. I call them strangers because they live in the stranger. There's strangers to hearth. Oh, wait, there's uh, that's electricity. I didn't know if that would kill me. That was probably a dumb decision, right? Oh, God. Okay. We made it. Right? Okay. Now, if you could just stay here. Don't be like ship one. Be like ship two. I'm vibing. Yeah, I totally am vibing, dude. Okay. I feel like a lot of time has passed. I don't... I'm not gonna say... Maybe it won't... I'm so scared. Okay. This has got to be like a thing that I have to get to before the dam breaches, right? Man, does that mean I'm going to have to do all this over again? And find this place again? I got to be quicker on the draw when I do that. Well, what's the gravity? 1.3? Okay. Um, I don't want to try it because then like if I try to fly over there... And then I fall into the water. No, that's gotta be okay. We'll, we'll keep exploring. I'm, I'm, you know, you might. Yeah, no, I'm gonna keep exploring. Yeah. Use strangers and Alex. Okay. No, push. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. Because I'm playing with the PS4 controller, so X is A for me. Incredibly regrettably, I must leave for a bit. I hope I get back in time for the 34-minute Kirby lore viewing. Dude. Please, do. I'm excited to see that. Dude, I love this music. What the heck? Ship log updated. Okay, well that's good. I'm getting a lot of updates. What's over here? Go. Okay, no, 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 no. I need you to be beached. No, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, ship two has left us. It is not loyal to us. Okay, we're on our own. River theme is a banger? Yeah, dude. I, I mean, I guess I'm not surprised. The guy who made music for this game is like a freaking genius. Was his name Andrew something? I can't remember. I just remember when I was making the Outer Wilds videos, like I would search for um, tracks from the game to put in certain times of the videos. And I was just like, man, every one of these is just... It's so good. No, that's the song. No. That's the end time song. No, no, no. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's just take in as much information as we can. Uh, this is a chair. Okay. This is... Oh, there's another slideshow thing here. Um, 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 Can I get a lantern in? But then I also need a slide projection thingy. Okay, we got the lantern in. We just gotta find a slide projection thingy. Okay, that's not what I want. Or is it? I don't know. Um, 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 Open? Okay, this is what I want. Yes? No? Maybe so? I don't know. No, we closed. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Speaking of bangers, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. Say goodbye to the Halo ring. We'll be back. And this time, I won't be an idiot. 
Maybe. Who knows? Alright, death. I await your sweet, loving embrace. You had a funny way of showing your love, though. I don't... What is this? Hello? Death? Hello? What? No dead? Oh, okay, there we go. Right, because I was outside the sun. Yeah, there we go. Can't forget about Timber Hearth. Timber Hearth just makes me feel so peaceful. Like, that track is so good. Andrew Prowlo? Yeah, that's his name. Is that how you say his name? <laughs> okay, so I don't need to wait, right? For the thing. Like, I don't have to go to the set. What? Um, guys? I... I think I broke the game. Anyways, I already know about the launch codes. What? No, I was gonna tell you about using the ship log to set destination markers for a location you visited before. Oh. It's a brilliant feature if I say so myself. Yeah, I just decided to take a nap here, I guess. Anyways, dead useful. And the risks of it posing shortening out the fuel regulator and causing the ship to explode is so minimal that only Gosson would worry about it. I don't know what the name is. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I like, my neck turned around at whiplash speed that I broke it, yeah. Um, I don't even know how I did this. So how do I use it? When you're on the ship, open its log to the location you want to mark. Anywhere's fine as long as you've been there. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, this. Hop in the pilot seat and the ship will throw up a destination marker on your display. It's that easy. Wow, Slate, how did you come up with these incredible ideas? Oh, I do the best with what I got. Really, you're too kind. That's extraordinarily convenient timing, thanks. Sure thing, Hatchling. Anyways, I got a fire to enjoy and you got launch codes to grab. I already got them. Go wild with the marking feature and uh, don't fly directly into the sun, okay? Okay, I already did it two times. Bye, I'm um, back to normal. <laughs> Hatchling's neck slipped. Hatchling <laughs> snaps. That's, that's, uh, that's my head cannon. <laughs> okay, so we got some ship logs to, to read. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, we can remove this, by the way. View entry! A massive artificial ring world hidden within some sort of cloaking field. It does not appear to be Harthian or Nomayan in origin. Reservoir. An enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. Uh, River Lowlands. A low-lying region near the entrance to the stranger. There are wooden buildings along the banks of the river. Uh, Cinder Isles, a pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of stilt houses. I found a large metal symbol for the eye of the universe inside a burnt out building. Cliffside Building. I saw a building marked with unique symbols recessed into the canyon walls, but the bridge that used to lead it has rotted away. Okay, well let's mark the stranger. Thank god, because I thought I was going to have to do that all over again. Why are you looking at me from under your armpit, Hatchling? Uh, you know. Just thought it would be fun. Alright, stranger. Listen, you're no stranger to me. And I'm no stranger to love. I know the rules. So do you. That's backwards. Wait, are we coming in hot? How hot are we coming in right now? Okay, I was like, when is it going to appear? Okay, don't go that way. Don't go that way. 
I'm so confused. Where am I going? Okay. Everyone just chill. Alright, listen. Before you guys call me an idiot. Um. Actually, no. Go ahead. You guys can call me an idiot. Okay, found it. Okay, now this is kind of the part I was not uh, so thrilled about. Ship, I would love to repair you, but I only have so much time. Besides, I'm probably gonna die again, so you'll be broke or you'll be fixed by the next one. Rolled Rick, yeah, Rolled Rick. I like that actually. You know the rules, and so do I. Okay, I don't remember. I don't actually know how I did this. I mean, I think I do. Uh, do I gotta match that up or something? Okay, that's matched up. Can I just... Mm, mm, get out of my way. I don't know how to do this, you guys. Okay, is there an empty spot? Okay, there is an empty spot here. Oh, I did it! Nailed it. See, see guys, I told you it wasn't a one-time thing. I am just that smart That spaceship is terribly illuminated. Yeah, it is they need to fix that problem right away, okay This is not a puzzle this ain't a pu it's not a puzzle? Do I just keep, like, looking at it? Okay. Okay, okay, we have to go here. Oh god, we're coming in way too hot. Raft, Raft, I need you to stay with me. Okay, that's the dam. Let's... Okay, let, let's just explore here. What do we got? Is this where I just was? Like, literally right before I died? Okay, no, this is... Okay. So, here's the slide projector. Alright, so we gotta go get a not broken lantern. Smart. Sure, Hatchling. Believe what you want to believe. I will thank you very much. Oh, man. Okay. You're coming with me. You're going to serve a greater cause. What that cause is, I, uh... Not quite sure yet. But it's probably a cause that's greater than... I don't know, me. You, the birds and the bees. Okay. Okay. What is that ringed planet? None of the planets I know are ringed. Okay, interesting. There's the eye. That's something else. That's something else. That's something else. Wait. What? 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. And then it left to come here. Whoa. Whoa. 
Wait. Okay, hold on. I need to go get the other one. There's another slide reel over here. Okay. Put that back there. Okay. What, what is this one? What is this one? Okay. Didn't the Nomai come from a different galaxy? Whoa, okay. We're just starting off with that. That's the eye, right? That's the sound of the eye. Oh! Hi! Okay, interesting. Okay. What, what's happening in the comments? It's like someone... Somebody boy. It's like calling somebody boy, which isn't too weird. Okay, you guys are having a completely different conversation right now. Sorry, I was so enthralled by what was happening. Okay, so... Okay. Alright. I got this, guys. Don't worry. Of course, the last time I said that, we were stuck at the satellite for fucking how many hours? <laughs> We've been doing this for an hour and 45 minutes, and most of that was me trying to find the stranger. Okay, let me look at these. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it. This is a door. Okay, I th think I want to go to the dam next. What? I'm sorry. Please don't do that. That scared me. The head cannon, the hatchling's name is Crystal. <clears throat> My name's Crystal? That's a pretty dope name. Wait, so is the hatchling a guy or a girl? Or both? Or neither? Or by the oh shoot where oh what it's on the building over here oh oh duh there are the crystals I was like well, I don't see any Okay, don't go down there. Crystal would be cool. Probably don't have a name, it's more like self-insert. Yeah, but lore-wise they have to have a name. Yeah, yeah. I would name them... I feel like Max would be another good name. I don't know. Max just sounds like someone who would go on an adventure. If your name is Max, um... That's cool. The Harthians don't have gender. Oh, I see. Wait, are the Harthians like mammals? Or do they lay eggs? I'm asking questions that like don't matter. But I'm curious, man. I like lore stuff like this. Okay. Wait. Where's my boat? There it is. Okay, we have to hurry before this dam breaks. Okay, I thought the dam just broke. I was like, bro, how do I have the worst timing? There we go. Alright, I gotta concentrate, you guys. Just... Just enjoy this peaceful music. The Harthians all have rock names. Oh, okay, so that's why their name would be Crystal. Okay, that would make sense. Okay, I want to go here. No, I want to go to that big bridge. I want to see if that is, um... Is still intact. So it's through this thing right here. We'll come back to this. There's so much... God, there's so much to explore. Ugh. This is really cool. I'm having fun. 
I will look at comments in a minute. Hurry! Oh, is that bridge just always broken? Wait, so can I f try and fly to it then? No! Thank you. Thank you, Andrew Prowlo? Prowlo? Can someone tell me how to pronounce his name? Is it... No, why would it be Prowlo? There's no PH, Will. Come on, use your brain. Prowlo. Prowlo. Yeah. Crystal would be a good inclusive rock name. I like that. It's kind of like how all Pokemon scientists are named after types of trees, right? Professor Oak and stuff like that. Okay. This is probably a terrible idea. But you know what? Uh, this whole playthrough has been a terrible idea, so let's go. This is a terrible idea. This is a really bad idea! So what I have learned... ...is that you can't fly from here to there. See? That's useful knowledge that I needed to know. Because I... ...am indeed... ...an idiot. Let's go, boat. Dang it. I need to push this more. No. Okay, thank you. Back to the river music. Ooh, what's this? Okay, my boat can't, like, break, can it? I just thought about that. Pray low. Oh, pray low. Okay, thank you. Okay, oh, there's the dam. Can I go up on the dam? Wait, whoa. Okay, wait. there's so much to explore. Let's go here first. I really like this ring world. Like, the, the design of it is just really cool. Okay, this probably says some like no entry allowed. Too bad, nerds. Hmm. I kind of want to see what's under. The water doesn't look that bad, as long as the dam doesn't break. I swear, if you break as soon as I get in the water, I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter to your mother. Oh, get into lassophobia, you guys. No, 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 we are out of here. What did I just say? Young man, I'm writing a letter to your mother. And she's gonna be pissed at you. This sign can't stop me because I can't read. Yo, that's actually true. So, I know there's more to explore. Come on, Will, use your brain. What is this? The timing, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, where should I go next? I guess we can... Hmm. Oh, wait, what? There's a place here. Oh. Ooh. It's kind of cozy. Oh, there's a million places to look. So many places, so little time. Oh, this is cozy. Man, I kind of want to like, like get get by a fire now and cozy up in real life. I don't know why. Just wooden structures make me feel cozy. 
You guys got TV? Man, we don't have TV. Oh, shit blog updated. Oh, is it tracking the, like, the... The sun's death? Maybe? What is this? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared because I'm told this is like a horror game. Like this DLC. Okay, what are you? Stop. No. Stop. Oh, 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 oh. No, go, 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 go. I don't want to be here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill. I, I, I want to like get some information on this first. Ooh, I got like chills in my bones, man. Okay, what does this do? Nothing. You're back. Okay, cool. Um, here's what happened. Uh, nothing. I, I mean, I found a couple of things, and I found this cage that may or may not lead me to my death. What happens if... Uh, but I don't want to lower it. Can I... Mm, can I lower it without me inside? But I don't want to do that, and then I miss it. Um... Ah, screw it. We're about to die anyways. To our death! Possibly. Where are we? Okay, someone hold my hand. It's sweaty, but like someone has to do it. Oh, this, oh, oh, we're just, oh man. I thought it was something else. Oh, so you can do the, oh. Uh... You can get up easier without this thing. Oh. Hi, ship. Actually, you know what? This would be a good time to get my oxygen back. Or, yeah, and my jetpack. That's what I really wanted. Ooh. Ike Moya? What is this? Oh god. So this is like, I, I'm guessing this is their spaceship? That looks like it's about to explode soon. Interesting. I found a shortcut. You'll know when it's horror time? Oh no. <laughs> that does not make me feel better. <laughs> See like, Maybe it's just because I played a lot of Subnautica, but like when I saw that underwater stuff, I'm like, oh my god, there's something down there that's gonna kill me. Like, I think the reason I don't like the ocean a lot is because it's so noisy, like, above the ocean, but as soon as you get down, it's dead silent. And you're like, <gasps> what the fuck is gonna kill me? I don't know, does anyone else have that feeling? Okay, well, now that I can get to this stranger really easy, and now that I can use the elevator, I can get to the dam super easy now, too. So that's good. Okay, so where do we go next? Um... Nothing is scarier than the anglerfish. Those guys were scary. But then... Am I gonna die here? Is the water too shallow? Nope. I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna be here. I regret- I regret this decision. I thought it would be okay because I could see, but then the second I got in, I was like, okay, there are parts where I can't see it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Ige Moya. Hey! Someone can speak Korean. Oh wait, that might be... I think that's... I know who that is! 
안녕 하세요. 오케이, okay, hold on. The DLC is a constant battle between curiosity and fear. I do feel like that right now. I also feel like I don't have a boat, so I am literally stranded. I don't want to move. But I must. For science. Hornfells would want me to move. Actually, I don't know. Would Hornfells do this? None of the other adventurers would do this stuff. Bro, the other adventurers are just chilling. The other travelers are just chilling on, like, planets, playing instruments. And it's like, guys, you make great music, but, like, y'all want to explore? Although, I guess they explored a lot before I got there. But still. If you want to progress, curiosity has to be greater. Oh, boy. Okay. I hear you, music. I know. Okay, so, alright, let's pick our next spot. I think the dam is definitely where we're going next. And then... Maybe... I'll have to look at my ship log and see what it says. And we'll, we'll pick something from there. Hmm. Fear isn't as big of a factor as it is here. Oh, from like... Oh, all of Outer Wilds? Yeah. Because most of Outer Wilds... I'm just going to meditate, because it's going to take too long for the thing. Feldspar would? Okay, Feldspar will do anything. That man is crazy. I'll give you that. But, like, Gabro wouldn't. He would just be like... No, he'd get here, and he'd see the river, and he'd just chill on the boat the entire time. Um... Chert would... I don't know. I feel like he would just analyze everything. And then Ryback would just not come in here. <laughs> Gabro is just Gabro. <laughs> I'd say at least four loops till he finds it. Oh, I'm curious what you guys are talking about. But at the same time, I don't want to know. Are you guys making bets on how long it's going to take me? Because fair enough. Let's go. Chat would probably have another meltdown. <laughs> Gabo would be rafting. Yeah, he probably would. Ryback would go crazy. I, I mean, like, he'd probably find it, and then he just wouldn't want to come in. All heart. Oh, are they them? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. There's no gender. I forgot. Now I remember. Oh, don't, don't. Please. Stop. Please, can I, can I please get in? Can I please get in? Thank you. No, that's not what I, sorry, I'm forgetting all my controls. I'm also sitting far away from my mic, sorry. I was like getting more relaxed there. Do you guys ever see those like old State Farm commercials? Uh, the only reason this popped into my mind was because I said, can I please go in? Because in the old State Farm commercials, They'd be like, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And then there would be one part where... This is coming down, right? Okay, cool. Um, there's like one part in one of the commercials where one of the dudes like, And can I get a hot tub? Does anyone remember that? That's so, like, niche. Chert equals egg? Yeah. Chert is an egg. Feldspar would speed run this. <laughs> yeah, he probably would. Feldspar is the type of dude to be like, he sees an anglerfish and he's like, I want to ride that. Braver than me. Okay. Hmm. So... This is interesting. I forgot to look at my ship log. 
Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. We have a ton of time. The hatchling will try to translate the text. Because they help make the translator. True. Bellspot would probably put lantern fuel in the artifact. Green thing, what? I don't, I don't, what? What's a green thing? Is Hal a rock name? Uh, I don't know. Are there any rocks called Hal? Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make progress, you guys. I promise you. Um... I'm getting kind of hungry. Okay, so what do we got here? I found a projection showing the stranger's current trajectory and the sun's predicted supernova radius. Okay, that is the supernova thing. Um, a slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. A slide reel from the river lowlands show a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and a glowing symbol. Okay, Cinder Isles. Let's do this. Okay, I think I know where that is, yeah. Cliffside building? Yeah, that's the one that I tried to jump and then, like, got seriously injured on. The reservoir? So there's more to explore here. Alright, let's go... Let's explore Reservoir first, and then Cinder Isles. Let's do it. Ready, guys? Three, two, one, team, break, sports thing. All right, let's go. Progress is overrated. You know what? I like that. I like that motto. Anytime I'm doing bad, I'm going to call upon this motto. Progress is overrated. Guys, I'm, 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 I'm playing my own game, you yeah. know? Climbing random rocks and going swimming is the correct way to play the game. I, I, I feel like you're trying to bait me into something, because you're saying going swimming. And I'm so scared there's like a monster down there. It, I, in fact, I'm so scared that it made my voice crack. The journey is the destination. That's right. Okay, so... Where is... Um, okay, that's that's where we have to go right there. Right there. But first, I want to check around here first. Now, listen to me, damn. If you break before I finish exploring you, I will call up your mother and your father and your uncle. Okay? Thank you. Feldspar, we look at Dream World. Wait, what's Dream World? Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should just, like chill with the comments for a second <laughs> um okay you know what i gotta focus on finding this stuff all right everyone while i'm looking for stuff let's think of a conversation conversation topic pineapples on pizza why are they bad and if you like them what is wrong with your brain okay look uh, look i'll give you this pineapples on pizza is good when the pineapples are like like burnt a little bit cooked fresh pineapples on pizza it's like dude who hurt you as a child you know what i mean like i'm sorry what happened do you need a hug see in the casinos it's good when all things match up so if we just do all ring worlds or all suns because sun is the best right okay i probably don't have enough information for this yet I gotta go. All right, well, thanks for stopping by. This VOD will be up, so you can uh, feel free to watch the rest of it, and we'll probably be doing another stream later. I'll make a community post about it. Mario movie, what do we think about it? Look, I'm optimistic. I don't know how well Chris Pratt is gonna do as Mario. I'm interested in seeing... Um, 
Thank you. I'm interested in seeing Jack, Pla Jack Black play um, Bowser. Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong just kind of made me laugh when I saw that. Pineapple on pizza is simply not okay. Thank you. A rational person. I gotta go to sleep. Alright. Have a good one. Have a good one, man. Or woman. I don't know. I'm just gonna call everyone dude, okay? I feel like dude is a very good gender neutral thing. I call everyone dude. Or bro. If you want me to call you something besides dude or bro, let me know and I'll try my breast. best. Best. <laughs> say breast. Jesus. I'll, how about dudette and bro Seth. Joseph. Okay. <clears throat> um, what am I looking for? Maybe, maybe I just don't have enough information to search here yet. Let's go to Cliffside Isles. Fire Donkey Kong. I like pineapples on pizza, and yes, cooked. Okay, yes, thank you. Okay, I'll at least agree with you that cooked is good. Fresh pineapples, it's like, nah, dude. I just realized, how am I getting back to Cliffside Isles? I like to cook pineapples. Yeah, okay, all right, cool. We got rational people in the comments, in the chat. That's good. Um, um, I didn't think about this. Please don't be scary monster. Please don't be scary monster. Please don't be scary monster. I feel like I hear something breathing. <gasps> okay. I'm just getting like PTSD from Subnautica. Ah, <sighs> nice calming river music. It's like ear bleach. You need to explore more. I feel like it, like, it has something to do with opening that. Okay, I'll come back to this, I promise you guys. Reading is for nerds. Um, but I want to go to Cliffside Isles first. Because that's initially where I wanted to go, but then I was like, well, we're already at the dam, so... Um, wait, I just realized, how do I get up there? Just fly? On this rooftop, maybe? Yeah. Smart man, I am. The Leviathans can't get you? They, yeah. Now the Leviathans can't get me, but I don't know what's down there, man. When will this stream end? I think we'll probably play for, like, another hour... And then I promised everyone we'd watch Kirby lore videos, and then we'll probably call it uh, call it a night, a night for you guys. And uh, we'll probably make plans before the stream ends on uh, when the next stream will happen. I wish I could stream every day, man. This is kind of fun. Okay, maybe not every day, but um, wait, what am I doing? I want to go to Cliffside Isles, not my ship. Um, although, do not break. Is that a boat? That's a boat. Let's go. What? What? I'm watching you, scary monsters that might be in this. This is fun. Thank you. You'll watch for another hour? Yeah, we're gonna do, yeah, another hour, then like 30 minutes of Kirby lore stuff. Oh, by the way, people who want, to want, who want me to watch Kirby lore stuff, um, get your videos ready. Okay. We're trucking along here. All right, there it is. Cliffside Isles, let's go.
I like this mechanic of like steering the boat. Something is breathing underwater. Dude, it sounds like it. And so I'm like, what is it? It's watching me. Hatchling is paranoid. Hell yeah, I am. Alright, how many of you wouldn't be paranoid? Alright, alright, everyone, raise your hand if you were scared the first time you went into the water, alright? I don't know Kirby lore very much. A lot- wait, okay. Do people still want me to watch that, by the way? Because I don't know, like, I know some people have kind of left. So, uh, if you guys still want me to watch that, please let me know. Okay. I know... <sighs> hmm. Okay, I explored that area earlier. I want to look over here. Whoa! I'm looking forward to it? Okay, cool. Okay, there's a thing. Oh, where's the projector? I know there's a projector over here. Right here. No way that just happened. No way. Dude, are you serious? Every time I put it in the projector? Why? What is with this timing? There's no way, dude. There's no way that just happened. Did it at least keep my projector? Okay, so I just need a lantern. And there are lanterns over here. No way that just happened. That's the second time, the second time I put it in. Give me this thing. Oh my god. I'm paranoid of the water, yeah. Natural human instincts. Harthians have evolved, yeah. Well, fortunately I'm not a Harthian. I wish I was. They look cool. All right. Thank God we can still view this. Okay. Ooh, what? Whoa, whoa, what? Okay. This is like the future? Dude's like, <gasps> no! Oh, we saw the end. Oh! Uh-oh. Let's go back to nice buys. Nice, nice elks. Elks? Oh! Oh! Wait. What is that? Wait, what? Is there another can- okay. Are the slides ruined? Oh no, okay, cool. I can get the other one. I'm so, like, curious. Okay, you go down here. You go here. Alright, what do we got? Mm-hmm. Oh! Don't be scary. Be nice. Oh, there's a second. What is this? Interesting. Oh yeah, well yeah, they've been burnt, but I didn't know if the water ruined it. Um... Time is paused while reading slides. Oh, is it really? Okay, okay. It follows that same rule. I'm almost out of jetpack fuel. 
I think there's some over here, there. I don't think I need anything from here. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting way too paranoid. <laughs> okay. Man, part of me just wants to go down there just to see what's down there, you know? Keep viewing the slide? Really? Wait, is there something else? I thought it looped. Okay, wait, I'll go back, I'll go back. That doesn't, that sounds like something's breathing, dude. You guys hear that? That's so, what is that? I mean, you guys know, but like, what? Okay, okay, hold on. I'm gonna keep looking at this. Is there more to this? Okay, wait. Yeah. What? Wait, are there more slides downstairs? Wait, hold on. Let me let me look at this one. I think you got everything. Oh, okay. I was gonna say because it said ship log updated. You guys don't hear that? It sounds like something's breathing. Oh, that just might be the water. I don't. I don't know, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, hold on, let me look at these slides again. Let me look at the, yeah, the first one. I want to look at the first one. I'm gonna, so time is paused, so I want to look at this very clearly. Okay, they're looking at the eye. And they scan it, and then I guess he looks into the future. And he sees that it kills everything. And it kills him. And then the grass grows. It's nice grass. And then he's like, oh, I don't like grass. And then he falls to his knees. I wonder if that staff is something I can get. And then he's like, we must destroy the grass. So, okay. This building. I'm looking at these very carefully now. Trying to see if I can see anything outside. I see chains at the top. Where is that? Hmm. That's my jetpack? Oh. There are more slide sensors? Okay, let, let me check. Let me just check real quick. Because you might be right. I don't want to check every nook and cranny. Uh, I don't see anything here. Uh, I don't see anything. Okay. Should I just do it? Should I just go down? No, I'm good. I'm good. I don't, I don't need to see it right now. Glad you went back to analyze. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do that as best as I can. I feel like in the original game, I just kind of like rushed through. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, right? I guess death, I guess, yeah, and then I just reset. <laughs> I am not a brave boy. <laughs> hmm. Where do I want to go next? Because this loop is about to end, I can feel it. 
I guess I need to look at my ship logs and see what's next. I bet there's more to explore in like these buildings when the dam is not broken. So maybe that's our next clue. I wonder if I could actually find anything while I'm here. We're going swimming, boys. Okay, that is my jetpack. You guys are right. <laughs> if a monster was really down here, it wouldn't breathe. It wouldn't show its presence. It would just kill me right away. Isn't that a fun fact? I want to go back to this tower thing. I want to look at the pictures again. Maybe explore the tower? Yeah, that's... Yeah. This <laughs> offering... Dark Bramble's offering free tickets. Ooh, that sounds, um, tempting. Okay. He's playing with a banjo? Okay. Are these islands, like... No, because there are stars. I was gonna say, are these islands a part of the stranger? But there are stars, and at the top of this, you just see the land. Um, okay. What? What was that? Oh god, this is going down. Oh sugar, we're going down. <laughs> I'm a brave boy. I am a brave boy. Oh, the loop's about to end. Okay, so we're gonna die. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, man. But, like, there wouldn't be a monster in here, right? Because why would the Alks, like, put a monster in here? Unless it was for security reasons. But then again, like, why would they put a river, you know? You know what? I'm just gonna go up. Oh, man. <sighs> Glad to see you're enjoying the game now. It's a lot more fun now that I know what to expect. Um, okay, so I guess, yeah, our next objective is to explore these buildings when it's not underwater. Especially if the ship's log says there's more to explore here. And death, you can come for me now. Um. Yeah, that's gonna be our next part. Amazing how much a blue fog filter and some maneuverability changes can do to give you the impression of water. I know. Maybe it's a water friend. I don't know. <laughs> that. That's what they all say. That's like, who, who just said it earlier? Dark Bramble's giving free tickets. <laughs> Come on down. Guys, I think I need to order food. What should I order? Should I order... Game? Why do you keep pausing? Don't do that. Should I order... A sandwich? A burger? Pizza? Or... I don't know, other. If you have something very specific, let me know. You guys decide my lunch. Free tickets to the start of the loop. Oh my god, that's funny. Um, I thought I saw something different. Okay, weird. Okay, what have we got here? The reservoir. There's still more to explore here. That door, yeah. 
Um. Yeah. A slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants analyzing the eye of the universe. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. So there's more to explore on like the Cinder Isles and the River Lowlands. And the reservoir. Raw pineapples on pizza. You are mean. I am not doing that. I am not doing that. Actually, Korea does pizza a lot differently than America. They put like 8 million toppings on it. They'll put like potatoes, corn, um, like just a ton of different stuff. Like chunks of potatoes. You got a good fried rice place near you? Oh, hell yeah. I haven't had fried rice in a while, actually. Get some chicken fried rice. Order some s'mores. Oh, dude, I wish. I wish I could order s'mores. I can't find graham crackers at my grocery store. Okay, I think we're going to... A slide reel from the River Lowlands shows... Showed a strange vault being closed and sealed within a glowing symbol. A strain from the Cinder Isles showed chains appear around a strange vault. Interesting. Let's do... I just don't think we... I think... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Could those chains have something to do with the door near the reservoir? Let me... Let me see if the symbols are the same. I think they are, so I don't, I don't think my theory is correct. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't, I don't think it's right. Fried rice. Good stuff. Makes leftovers, too. Alright, you know what? I agree with you guys. I'll make some fried rice. Or not make order. Um, let me type this in. Bokumbap. Ooh, shrimp fried rice. That sounds pretty good. Hmm. No, I want... What? Oh, there it is. I was like, where's my chicken fried rice? You will give it to me. Ooh, I kind of want a soda, too. I need soda. I need caffeine in my system. Wait, do they not have a drink menu? My life is instantly... Sad now. Oh, wait, I think I have a, a Sprite in the fridge. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, hold on. Ordering and order has been Time's frozen here, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, place. Thank you guys for deciding my lunch. Fried rice is going to be good. Chicken fried rice, that's going to have a lot of protein. I'm not too close to Timber Hearth, right? Crash into the planet. <laughs> Alright. So we got a plan now. We're going to go search. We have the River Lowlands and Cinder Isles. I think let's do the River... <sighs> let's do the River Lowlands first. This is fun. I'm having a lot of fun, you guys. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Yeah! Even if I hit, might be an idiot. At times. And by at times, I mean all the time. Thank you. Okay. 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 And uh, we're good. It's like that SpongeBob mean. Keep going. Keep going. You're good. And stop. And the whole ship is just ruined. That's me when I play this game. There's a reason I recommended it, even as a cooking option. Oh yeah, I feel like it's super easy to cook too. You can just get like bags of it. It's not that hard to cook. Do you know you can click on the arrows to see the connection between the infos? Now I do. And now I kind of feel like an idiot. That's, that's, wow, all right. <laughs> Cut up some bacon, scramble some eggs, drop some sweet corn, and presto, you got some amazing- Oh my god, dude. Stop, you're making me so hungry. Um, 
You can't? Let's go touch some ghost matter. Dude, you have that feldspar spirit. Okay, I want to go to... Let's go to River Lowlands first. I mean, that just makes sense, you know, and then we'll go... Yeah. Whee! That's shallow water! Okay. You guys watch. The moment I'm not expecting... Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the airlock, right? Right? Yep, that's the airlock. Okay. Just had to make sure. Okay. Um, hey, ghost matter. Someone said let's go touch it. Let's get this thing docked. Can you do that on console? You can? Wait, so you can do that? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna... Next time we're back at the ship, someone, like, yell at me to remind me to do that. Man, I want to know how you can translate languages. Okay, so... Where have we not been? We haven't been to this part... There's a house over here we haven't been to. But it's just filled with ghost matter, so we gotta be careful. Okay, I want to know, did you guys think when you saw these crystals that the crystals were ghost matter? Because I did, and I thought for like... What? Okay. I thought for like the longest time, I couldn't even like touch the area with the crystals. Wait, where am I? Is it right here? Hey, there I am. Okay, cool. Okay, there it is. But can I see anything? Okay, let's send this. In. Oh, there's a slide in there! Wait, how do I get in there? Oh, you can get in from the bottom. Okay. Um. You don't have to launch the scout to take pictures, right? You. It. What? Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. How do I like... Oh, okay. Thank you guys. See, I would like literally be dead 10 times over from you guys. Or I'd be like... This stream would be 10 hours long. Okay. That has ghost matter on it. What is this? Okay. No one! Artifact? Wait, okay, hold on. Put, the, put this down for a second. Um, oh, there's more. Can I get this? What is this? Is that a... Is that a thing? That I can get? No? Okay, that's not a thing I can get. Let me just make sure I'm not about to... Okay, so I can only get those two artifacts. Okay. Let's take this artifact. Let's go to the slide projection thingy. We're gonna die. We all learn new things every day. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being understanding. <laughs> Y'all are very nice. Okay, but, like, okay. Okay, so... I feel like that signals the halfway point, right? Before the dam breaks. Um. Wait, so, okay. I don't know if you guys answered my question or not. Did you guys also think the the green crystal things were ghost matter? And, oh, artifact doesn't fit. Okay. Interesting. Where do I take this, then? Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. 
maybe... Do I take it in there? Let's try. I treat the crystals as a big warning. Yeah, for a long time, I thought they just were. They're activated by sight? Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, I could see how you could think that. Wait. Could this maybe have something to do with the reservoir thing over there? I don't know, dude. Man, I'm so curious. Okay, l let's think about this. What clues have I not figured out yet? I haven't figured out the reservoir thing. Oh, okay, you can see the dam breaking. Okay. That's helpful. Thanks, game. Okay. The... Wait. Have I been there? I don't... I don't think I've been there. Hold on. Let, let's go there. Or l let's go... Okay. Cinder Isles first. And if there's anything over there, we'll do it. But if not, then I want to go there. Oh, push. Duh. Okay, there we go. I learned about in the tutorial. Yeah, I just pointed the camera in the tutorial, and my mind thought, oh, crystals equal ghost matter. I know this is going to be something important. Okay, no, go over here. This artifact's probably like, watch this be the key. To, like that chamber that was sealed that could actually be a real thing I just imagine like I'm saying stuff and then like half of y'all in the chat are just like <gasps> he said the thing okay it is kind of fun to see <laughs> the chat react like that being like <gasps> he's figuring it out He's learning. I guess I could go to this tower. Don't do it. Just give me, just bro, just like one minute, please. Oh no, wait, no, it wouldn't be in the tower, would it? I don't know. Uh, no, no, nothing. What, wait? Yeah, nothing. I'm just kind of going fast because this dam's about to break. Halfway into my rant about sight activated crystals. This artifact is very important. I imagine if it's called an artifact. Okay. There were two artifacts in that area, right? So as soon as I figure out what this one does. Wait, can I... What is this? What? Wait, give me the lantern. Drop the lantern. Oh, sorry. What is that? That goes to the tower, right? But that doesn't look like the tower over here. Hmm. Press the trigger? Oh, focus! Oh! What the f-, f Why am I so stupid? How did I not see that? Wait, so can I fit this in the slide thing then? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta find a slide projector. <clears throat> wait, so if I close this... And then... No? <sighs> okay. So... Hold on, let me... 
Oh, <laughs> I know everyone's screaming at me right now. They're like, no! Use it on the thing! With the thing! Hmm. Let me go back here. Oh, great. Okay, this must detect something. Or like... But what? What could it be? I need to get to high ground. I'm not screaming. Thank you for not screaming. Okay, nope, this knocks it off! <laughs> they put an artifact does not fit message into the game. Yeah. Um, man. God, it's like I I, I should probably I know I'm I said we were gonna stop at three hours, but I kind of want to keep going. But eventually we do have to end the stream. Uh, I want to figure out what this does at least. Okay, we're gonna go we're gonna keep going. All right, scary water monster, if you want to kill me, just can you wait until I figure out what this thing does? And then you can kill me. No, boat, don't go away! Okay, we're going over here. This boat. This boat is my best friend now. Okay, go. Wait, what? What happened? It flew up into... Oh, okay. I saw an inside joke that I just got from one of my friends watching the stream. We need 34 minutes for the Kirby lore? Oh yeah, we're watching Kirby lore stuff, yep. Sitting on your hands and screaming is part of the experience of watching someone else play Outer Wilds. Yeah, don't forget Kirby. We got it. Okay, this is... I bet you it has something to do with this. Everyone's like, no. <laughs> there's gotta be, okay. Obviously there's a way over here. But how? The dam goes this way? And you drop down here? Hmm... Hmm. 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 Let's go back to the reservoir. It's gonna be funny when we watch the Kirby lore stuff and this t stream is still titled Outer Wilds or whatever. People joining in are gonna be like, what the fuck? Aiden, you're being very funny. Inside jokes are funny. If Boonzoon Chunzoon ever meets Floonzoon Goonzoon, God help us. <laughs> Man, no one else is gonna get that reference. Uh, well, that's an inside joke. There's got to be, like, another entrance to that cliff thing, right? There just has to be. Because there's no w I tried jumping it earlier. That hint may do be too much. What hint? <gasps> My food's here! Okay, I'll get it after I finish this loop or something. I'm not sure if Hatchling is cooking. Listen, uh, I'm at the stove. I just got to figure out how to turn it on.
Whoa, wait. Oh, okay, I thought this was something I could put the artifact into. But it was just a light. I don't know why I approached that thinking it would fit. Bro's food is here. It is. I deleted the hint? Oh, okay. Wait. What is that? Is that something I can reach with the ship? And then maybe get in to the back side? Wait, what is that area? I don't think I've been to that area. I was there. Oh. Let's go, boat. I don't know if I can do this because the current's going to be really strong. But we're going to try. It's important to remember that knowledge alone is only part of the virtue of a rival. Let persistence and luck pay off from time to time. That's a good message. Yeah, there's no way I'm navigating. What? Wait, hold on. He needs to find out whether he's using a grill or a stove or oven and how to power it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Come on, please. Can I please go? Yeah, it's not gonna let me, is it? What if I just walk? Like, I could just- I could fly there, right? I can do this, right, guys? Who believes in me? Okay. I no longer believe in myself. No, the current's too strong. I guess I could just go the other way, but that's gonna take so long. Hold on. Mr. Boat? Oh, sorry, this is Mrs. Boat. Mr. Boat's wife. Ooh, I am hungry. <laughs> Can you guys tell? Even if one thing- okay, I should probably look where I'm going. Even if one thing is learning a loop, even if that thing is I won't find answers in this specific place, then it's a successful loop. Yeah, I had to learn that out after I made the first video. No. Dun. Dun. Let's enjoy this boat ride. You know what, speaking of boats, Let's talk about um, our favorite vacations. Because my favorite vacation was on a cruise. Ow. Rude. Boom, boom. Yeah, I can get my food now. Once I die, I'll get my food. Ow. Actually, you know what? I'll go get my food right now. Maybe this boat will go somewhere. I don't know. Um, we went down the wrong one again. I could have made it to the others. Wait, did I? Yeah, cause I'm supposed to go over there, not there. Damn. Okay. Next time I know. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go get my food real quick. You guys tell me the best vacation you've ever had. I'll be right back.
food has been successfully got. This will be my final loop. I should sleep. Enjoy your food. Thank you, and thank you for joining the stream. If you want to watch the rest of this, it'll be up after uh, it finishes as a VOD. And have a good night. Going to Ireland? Who's to Ireland? That's dope. And Montana. I feel like Montana would be really, um, like, peaceful to go to. There's not much out there, I feel like, but it would be nice to, like, kind of enjoy the nature and scenery. Let's make our good desktop wallpaper. What, the river? Prior 22 minutes of existence get sent back, and from 23 on, they're left to wonder why they weren't sent back as they linger in a dead universe. Yo, Sengo. Seg Segno? Sorry, I might say your name wrong. Um, you should be a storyteller, dude. The way you write words is very um, poetic. I like it. Found a projection that reveals the, a cave entrance at the base of a rocky island with a tall tower. That was an entrance? Wait, Rocky Island with a tall tower. Wait, okay, I can... Oh, so you can. Okay, so it's in the Cinder Isles. Wait. Rocky... A cave entrance at the base of a rocky island with a tall tower. This is the only tower in this area. So is there a secret entrance? Hmm. It's the weekend? Yeah. It's the weekend, my dude. Don't worry, I'm trying to be a writer. You definitely should. Trying to make games? Dude, awesome. Okay. Um. I'm gonna cook, you guys. I'm cooking. I just, it may not be like a gourmet beef wellington. It may be like a microwavable pizza. But I mean, come on, who doesn't like pizza? Okay. I like how like, we haven't even gotten to the horror part yet. And everyone's like, yeah, the main thing about this DLC is horror, and I have yet to even get to that. Wait, so how long is this DLC? Is it, like, as long as the base game? Because if so, holy shit, the devs put, like, a shit ton of work into this game. I mean, either way, I know the devs are really passionate about this game, and I'm super excited to see whatever they do next. Does anyone know what they're doing next? How long is it is relative? Yeah, I guess that's true. Does anyone know like the average time it takes people to beat it? Because I've heard people say the main game took like around 15 to 20 hours to beat, which was true for me. I think I beat it in like 16 hours. It's Outer Wilds 2. The DLC is Outer Wilds 2. Outer Wilds 2. But wouldn't that, well, I guess no, because the universe being reborn, yeah. Okay, could I make it that way? Okay. So, let me... Okay. There's... That's... So, which one do I need to enter? Not that one. So, if I enter from here... Then I can go to this area. Right here. And I want to see what that is. But first I want to go to here to find that like a uh, cave entrance you guys ready let's go <laughs> don't die okay thank you um it's about three quarters of the outer wilds damn that's long for a dlc There's so much new content, calling it a DLC feels like a bit injustice. I mean, if it's three quarters, yeah, this sh should just be, like, a sequel. 
They should have just gone the route of, well, actually, no, I was going to say they should have gone the route of Below Zero, like Subnautica did. But, um, Below Zero was kind of disappointing. For anyone who played it. Wait, I'm curious. How many people have played Subnautica? Because I know I've said it about a million times. Um, in the stream and a bunch during my first two videos. And if so, did you guys like it? Thirty to fifty discoveries, that's how I rate the length. That makes sense. Um, okay, so there was a cave entrance. It was right Hold on. I played Subnautica. Did you guys like it? Because I thought it was like the best survival crafting game. Most like survival crafting games I don't like, but Subnautica was just really good. Oh, there it is! Wait, okay, hold on. Uh, where's my boat? Let me go get my boat. I lost motivation around the lost liver due- really, lost liver. Lost river due to fear of losing everything I had. That's fair. Lost river... Actually... Uh, yeah, Lost River can be kind of hard. It's the lava zones that are definitely the worst, though. Can I go? Go down, please. Thank you. You will go this way. No, no, dude, no! I played it up to then. It was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay, let me, let me get out of this part. I told you guys, I just need to, like that one person who said it, like I needed to figure out what I'm using, an oven, a stove, a grill. I think I figured out what I'm using. Now I just gotta read the instruction manual. Then I can start cooking. Okay, we've made it to this part. What is this part? That's a good question, you guys. I'm about to find out. That's barely a compliment. It does most of the things it sets out to do well. I mean, yeah. It was my first playthrough and I saw a ghost leviathan. Oh, God. Those things don't fuck around. Only a few issues I've... As far as I've seen someone who is learning as much as I can about game design. Yeah, they went through a lot of uh, testing. I, I mean, as I, from what I remember, Subnautica wasn't even supposed to be... A game. It was more like a proof of concept. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's that thing. Slide reel. Huh. So... The manual's in a different language and you don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, what is this? Wait, if I fly up... Okay, no. It's not gonna, like... Switch gravities and... Um... There's one, okay. There's one here. I think that's the one we're on, right? And there's one here. And there's one underwater, maybe? Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Isn't there something near the dam with like a chain right here? Is that, is that uh this thing? Okay, either way, I need to find somewhere to view this slide. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's go view the slide. I did not fall that far. Hatchling, you're fine. He's, I say as like both of his ankles are broken. Um, okay, 
I need a lantern. Man, I wish you could carry two things at the same time. I wish I had a gravity gun. Like from Half-Life. There are many games that fall prey to just one mistake that spoils the whole barrel. Yeah, there's a decent amount of games like that, yeah. Am I cooking? I'm cooking! I might accidentally start a fire, but you know what? I'm cooking. I was like, you know what? Screw the instruction manual. I can't read French. Okay. What do we got? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's inside the tower thing, right? Okay. Took the lantern. Wait. Oh! He's got the artifact! Wait, what? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Which picture was it? The one where he's looking at the... Okay. Okay, so they're all going in. Wait, can I do that with any picture? Or is it just... This one. I think it's just this one, because he's pointing to this one. Okay. Alright, you guys ready? Let's go. I, I'm finally- uh, Dude, I'm finally cooking! I'm finally cooking! Alright, let's go. Oh, should we go get the artifact first, though? Man, I gotta go all the way around to do that. No, 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 no. Okay. I, I just want to see what's in here first. I'm, I'm too curious. I need to find out what's in here first. Then we can find out what to do with the artifact. Or do I need the artifact to even enter? No, I don't think so. Okay. It was... No? Wait. Wait, what? It was this one, but, like, it didn't have... Yeah. What? Hold on. Oh no. Oh no, I might not be... Cooking? I'm cooking. I'm cooking! Grab it? Oh, okay, okay, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Okay. Okay, okay. What? I'm so confused! What do I do? Okay, okay. Wait, hold on. We're gonna do this. Oh. Roast marshmallows? It's fine, dude. Where'd you get the stick, by the way? Okay, I'm gonna- I'll be right back, because I now know I have to get the artifact, put the fire in it, and then something happens. I don't know, maybe I'll just be lit on fire. Okay, shoot, where was the artifact? I think it was in the river lowlands, right? Okay, we're going, okay, uh, okay, we shouldn't have let him cook, these guys cooked too long, yeah, they did, we're gonna go this way, because we haven't explored this area yet, we're coming back, god damn, I know the bridge is gonna freaking break, he has the stick in his backpack, why not make a marshmallow stick thing then, that stick has dirt on it, you can get diseases. Standard issue out of while. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. What are these electric cables for? 
Oh shoot, it's been three hours. Okay, well, we'll have to... No, go this way, 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 this way! Please! Thank you. We made it! And I think the dam broke. Ship log has been updated. That's what I like to see. Oh! Okay. Oh, I remember where the artifact is now. It's in that one with the... The ghost matter stuff on it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's in River Lowlands. Oh, man. You want the name of that Kirby Lore video? Yeah, send it to me, and, um... I'll look it up on my phone, so I can just kind of have it. Oh man! Well, I made it to the other side. What is this? Okay, well, I know what to do next now. I'm on the other side! Wait, no, this is not the bridge. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, so can I just do this for. Okay, that's not it. We just have to figure out which one it is. It's a lantern party. This one. So, are they all, like, dead down here? Or is it different for everyone? Wait, there's a down... I, I liked it when they had fur. Um... Uh... Okay. What's... Spoilers? Okay, good thing I didn't see it. Um, how do I, what? Okay, hold on. So I know what to do next, or I guess next time we stream. Um, sorry, okay, so hold on. Let me look this up real quick. Attempting to explain all of Kirby lore. Uh, hold on. Sorry, guys. Attempting, attempting to explain all of Kirby lore in a single video. Oh my god, it's 34 minutes, you weren't kidding. Okay, so, oh, can I make that? That doesn't feel as long as the last one. Because I don't see another way up. Only one way to find out. I made it! Yeah. That's what I thought. What is this? Oh. Oh, wait. Photo mode. Nope! Okay. That's ghost matter. Those are all my bones. Excuse me, just having my bones liquefied. Alright, we're good. Woo! Ooh, what are you? Oh! Okay. Is this the thing they burned down earlier? No, because it would be way more damage if they burned it down. Oh, it's one of these things again. I gotta figure out- wait, could this just be- Uh... That's too easy, right? I mean, that's the eye of the universe. They don't have a symbol for that on this. 
Hmm. I feel like I might need that lantern. Yeah, let's take the lantern. Hello, what are you? I told you guys I need the lantern. Now I just need the slide that goes with this. I'm cooking! Oh, there's a lot of slides here. Okay. We're gonna have some information. Okay. What do we got? Yeah, yeah, scary man. Is there gonna be a third chain? There is. It looks like it's inside a cave. That's gotta hold, like, what, their leader or something? Oh, it's an artifact! Wait! Oh, but I wanna look at more so Okay, okay. I don't know if we'll have enough time. Okay, okay. Sorry. Knowledge, persistence, and luck. Oh, the three virtues of arrival. That is this game. Uh huh. What? Were they crying? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Huh. Okay. How many more do we have? We have... Oh, wait, is that it? Were there only two? I thought there was three. Yeah, that looks like it. Okay, okay. Um... Let's take the artifact and find a place. Where'd it go? There it is. And now we're over here. Okay. Can I make it to there? Only one way to find out. Oh, thank god! I was gonna be so mad if I didn't make it with the artifact. Oh my god, I could actually cook! Guys! What do I do? Wait! But. Okay, uh, don't step into the fire. Hey, can one of you guys, like. G um. Leave? Okay, focus maybe? Conceal. No. That's not working. I think I need to enter into one of these things. So I need to find the one... Where this... Oh, I'm so close. I know I can feel this. Or... Is it... Could I just... Do that? No? Oh! Oh! Uh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm- I did something. I- uh, Can I- Can I jump? Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Okay. I guess I'll go this way, yeah. Follow the path. Ooh. 
Ooh, I don't want to die. <laughs> I gotta be extra careful, you guys. Um. Fire? Hello? I, if the loop resets right now, this shouldn't reset, right? I'm in some sort of parallel universe thing. Or I died. Did I die? Because the, when they all went to sleep, they died. <laughs> okay. Focus. Conceal. Ah. Oh! No! <laughs> That's not fair, dude! Oh, no! There's an artifact in each major area? Oh, okay. was cooking <gasps> okay wait do you guys want to end it there or do you want to do one more loop we can we can save this for next time or should we do one more loop it's up to you guys What are you thinking? You did excellent? Oh, thank you. Kirby lore? Yeah, we're, we're definitely doing Kirby lore. But I'm asking, do you guys want to do one more loop? Or should we call Outer Wilds there? <laughs> Delicious place to end? Yeah, I think that is a good place to end. It's a good cutoff? Yeah, because, like, we discovered a whole new thing. All right. Well, yeah, next time. Yeah, yeah, I know what to do next time now. So I just got to get the artifact, get the fire, and use that conceal and uh, focus thing. God damn. Okay. I'm really excited for this next part. All right. Well, um, that's going to do it for Outer Wilds. For those who want to stay for the Kirby lore video, uh, we're going to do that. It's about 34 minutes. So if y'all want to watch it, cool. If you guys are like, I was just here for Outer Wilds, that's cool too um we're gonna do another stream of this obviously we're gonna beat this i guess the next stream that i could do i i guess we could just do the same time because yeah friday i'll be at work friday night would be your guys's friday morning yeah let's just do saturday night again um, I'll, I'll make a community post on it, so if you guys haven't, you can just sub to the channel. Um, and I'll make a community post on it. Maybe I'll even update the, the pinned comment on the most recent Outer Wilds video. Um, so you can look either there or on the community tab. But yeah. Um, I want to know what happened to Dark Bramble. Wait, what happened to Dark Bramble? Oh, now I'm curious. Saturday again? Yeah, I'm thinking Saturday. Maybe we'll start a little bit earlier, like 7 p.m. Because that would be 8 a.m. for me. And I'll be able to wake up by then. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to watch the Kirby video, like I said. So if you all don't want to see that, that's perfectly fine. Um, and this is the end of Outer Wilds. So thank you guys for watching. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, thank you guys for sticking with me um, on this and uh, for those who are leaving, I hope you all have a good night. All right. Let us let me set this up real quick. Let me... Black screen. Isn't that fun? The most exciting stream ever. All right. Quit Outer Wilds. All right. So this will be our last thing. I'm really curious now because y'all... <laughs> Y'all hyped up this Kirby stuff so much. 
Um, okay, hold on. Book. Wait, what? Okay. YouTube. Um, all of Kirby War explained in one. Oh, I gotta turn off the. There we go. Okay, cool. This video contains spoilers for all of Kirby games. I feel like I need a face cam for this because it's reactionary, more reactionary than the game. Um, I should probably like. Shout this guy's channel out, or not shout it out, because he has way more subs than me, but, like, you know. If you guys want to see it, this is what it's called, Attempting to Explain All of Kirby Lore in a Single Video. It's by the RPG Monger. Three million views. Definitely doesn't need my help, but I want to be fair. So, yeah. Uh, do you remember me? Yes, I remember you. You are my sister. Hi. Stay on board to boost the algorithm. Aw, thank you. All right, you guys ready? Let's get into it. I'm going to eat some lunch while we do this. All right. How complex could this be? It's only 34 minutes. Long ago, in a time before pink puffs and air rides, there down, lived so the ancients, an entire ooh. civilization completely shrouded in mystery, save for a few key relics they left behind. Okay. But who cares about any of that, because on an unrelated planet far, far away, there lived an innocent pink puff named Kirby, a being of unlimited power who usually likes to spend his days eating, sleeping, or some variation of the two. Okay. However, this would all change when a certain self-proclaimed monarch would steal all the food in Dreamland, initiating a rivalry that would be sure to last an eternity, or at least when they felt like it. As Wild King Dedede would be the first antagonist of the Kirby timeline, he'd soon transition into less of an actual villain and more of an ally slash punching bag for Kirby to wail on in just about every game in the series. That's so true. Whether it be Dedede trying to prevent Kirby from releasing an actual nightmare demon, or just being possessed by an otherworldly force, this king never seems to catch a break. That's so true. Of possession, that brings us to our first real piece of Kirby lore, Dark Matter. First revealing itself in Kirby's Dreamland 2, Kirby lore is Dark weird Matter and is complicated. An dark entity, more often From what I've been told, yeah. The form of a black sphere with an eye in the center. At first, especially in its debut, Dark Matter seemed to be a pretty simple antagonist, what with its only goal being to shroud the world in darkness. If anything, okay. the most sinister thing about Dark Matter is the fact that it could possess whoever it wanted to do its will, including and usually limited to King DDD. However, while the first huh. appearance of Dark Matter was more of a lone force, attacking Dreamland solely because it was lonely and had no friends, that's actually uh -huh. real, by the way. In Kirby's Dreamland 3, the next installment- Wait, Dark so Dark Matter was just like an introvert? Dark Matter trilogy, we would finally begin to see the bigger picture in terms of this the sense I thought I would never say. Zero, the supposed source and leader of Dark Matter, who, much like the one before it, targeted Dreamland in an effort to engulf the planet in darkness. Though unlike the lone Dark Matter that had attacked before, Zero comes much closer to completing its mission, with the planet becoming fairly engulfed before Kirby put a stop to it. But how exactly did he put a stop to it? Well, let me explain, because yes, this is important. Essentially, dark matter in general, alongside being made up of, well, dark matter, are beings of concentrated negative energy and emotion. Yeah, he was an introvert. Only real weakness the you know what? I feel you, man. Positive emotions. I feel you, dark matter. Happily named love, love stick, a weapon forged from the gratitude of I'm sorry, everyone. The Kirby what stick? Along the way, which proved to be the downfall of Zero and its cronies. However, that being said, not all dark matter are necessarily evil. Take Gooey, for example. A member of Dark Matter that somehow broke away from Zero's control altogether and formed a will of its own. How did this happen? What is well, happening? we'll just have to go into that later because we've still got a lot so to cover. The Next up, after Zero was seemingly brutally annihilated on Pop Star, a similar force began to attack a faraway planet known as Ripple Star, engulfing oh the planet, much like a certain orb we all know and love. Unfortunately for them, though, Dark Matter struck fast this time, and Ripple's- I like how this started, because I was just basically like, 
How, is there any lore for Kirby? <laughs> and then y'all went wild with this. Star ended up completely succumbing to its invaders, save for one inhabitant that escaped with the only means to stop them. Now, I won't give you a complete summary of Kirby 64, since aside from dark matter possessing some familiar faces and the mysterious ruins on Rockstar, there really isn't that much to unpack in the beginning. Instead, it's towards the end of the game that things really start taking a turn for the dark when Kirby arrives at the fifth planet in the the game Shiver Star because I mean it kind uh, of speaks for itself, doesn't it? But hey, okay. I guess this kind of explains where Adeline came from, or at least her ancestors. Though moving on to the corrupted Ripple huh. Star, after defeating Miracle Matter and expunging the planet of all dark matter, the Dark Star reveals itself with a familiar face at its core. But hold up a minute, wasn't Zero destroyed? In love, love stick, yeah. Well, love stick, yeah. Wow. Kinda. In the That's case quite the of name. 64, it's heavily implied Did Kirby get a game? Yeah, he has a lot of games. That was cast away towards the end of its first fight. So after yet another mildly disturbing battle in a game made for kids, Dark Matter was once again supposedly defeated, never to return again. Mm -hmm. At least for another game or two. So oh, taking yeah. a step back from Dark Matter, let's talk Kirby Superstar. Now, That's lore just a Z plot or the screw. to be had here, what with most of the sub games being standalone stories like Dino blade or revenge of meta knight where meta knight attempts to start an actual war just to get dreamland's inhabitants to be less lazy but undoubtedly what? aside from those the most important sub game within the game is milky way wishes where kirby is tricked by the scheming jester marks into summoning galactic nova a mysterious clockwork star of then unknown origin you see once nova is summoned by someone it has the power to grant one wish no matter how small or large so in turn after Marx got the sun and moon to fight each other in order to trick Kirby, literally all it took was him jumping in to say his wish first to turn the seemingly harmless machine into a force of mass destruction, with it taking the might of both the sun and the moon to stop its advance. Though of course, even with all that said, oh the both of them never stood a chance against the seemingly bottomless pit of power that is Kirby, <laughs> as he quickly defeated them in no time I... at all. But it doesn't end there, because 12 years later, Kirby super Superstar would be remade into Kirby Superstar Ultra, bringing I never with played it Superstar. a massive new load of information to add on to the existing story. Simply put, with Superstar Ultra came the beginning of one of HAL's favorite new ways to sneak in lore where you'd least expect it. Pause screen descriptions. And while they wouldn't exactly be very lore heavy- Wait, what was the last, like, Kirby game to come out? Because I feel like there hasn't been one in such a long time. This time around, save for one in particular, they'd become far more important in the following games. But pause screens aside, most importantly, with Superstar Ultra came four completely new sub-games on top of the original seven. There was Revenge of the King, a direct sequel to the very first game in the series, Helper to Hero, a version of the arena only with helpers, True Arena, an even harder version of the normal arena, and the star of the show, Meta Nightmare Ultra, where for the very first time, you get to play as the infamous knight himself. Now, Meta Nightmare huh. Ultra is a bit of a tricky case, since technically the events that take place in it aren't exactly canon. Instead, they're more of a what-if scenario, where the events that take place within the modes flesh out certain the forgotten aspects land? of the lore while never canonically taking place within the main story. Case in point, Galacta Knight, forgotten the final land. boss of the mode and strongest warrior in the galaxy, out? sealed away due to fear of oh, the power, wow. has technically never made an Jeez, appearance. Jeez, I haven't played a Kirby game in a while. Canon. Though at the same time, that does doesn't mean he doesn't exist somewhere out there and could very well show up in the main series canon at any time. The True Arena also falls under this category as well, serving as a what-if scenario with the conception of Mark's soul. A stronger version of Mark's, who after surviving the explosion of Nova, absorbed its power to get revenge on Kirby. And as great as all that is, by far the most important aspect of this is his new pause screen description, as it contains some pretty heavy pause screen description. Quote, he absorbed a Nova's power to bring back his evil soul. Notice the fact it Oh my god, this Nova is more complex than FNAF! <laughs> While there is a chance it could be a translation error, considering the events of future Kirby games, I'm not so sure. We Though only we'll know Kirby from later, Smash Bros? Next up on uh, yeah, the that's where a lot of people know Kirby, Kirby from, I feel amazing like. Mirror, an incredibly important game in I feel like especially like it contains the first a lot like the mirror dimension. I don't want to sound like a boomer, but like a lot younger people 
above don't know about there exists a the mirror older Kirby games. into the mirror world, a complete reflection of Dreamland, including mirror world counterparts to its inhabitants. One day, after sensing a dark force emanating from the mirror, Meta Knight took action to stop the evil at its source, diving directly into the mirror world, only to be immediately ambushed by his evil counterpart, Dark Meta Knight. Plus, to add insult to injury, he'd also come out of the mirror to attack Kirby as well, splitting him Whoa. into four versions of himself, much like another certain- I was gonna say, this is literally Zelda. Time. But similarities aside, after journeying through the mirror world and defeating Dark Meta Knight once He's even got the Link hat. The true mastermind is revealed, Dark Mind. And wouldn't you know it, he's the mirror world equivalent of- Bro, they should make like a Kirby, but Breath of the Wild version. I would- oh my god, I'd play the shit out of that if they made something like that. Zero corrupting the mirror like an world, open world like Kirby Zero game corrupted the normal one. Though would you guys play that? Once Dark Mind was defeated, the mirror world was left in the hands of Shadow Kirby, who would continue to protect it in Meta Knights and Kirby's stead. Now nothing bad will ever come from the mirror world again, right? Well. All I can say is we'll get to that soon. Moving past Amazing Mirror, Canvas Curse, and Mass Attack, since the latter two are pretty much contained to themselves, we arrive at Kirby's Squeak Squad. At first, this game seems to have another pretty self-contained story, what with Kirby chasing after a piece of stolen cake that a gang of thieves known as the Squeak Squad stole from him. However, as the Open game world progresses, Kirby would be awesome. The yeah, dude. Upon the treasure they That'd be so much fun. Infinite power, it turns out they'd get more than they bargained for with their leader, DeRoach, being possessed by Dark Nebula, a member of Dark Matter that had been sealed we have 3D away in Kirby's. a forgotten era. Yeah, but like, for some like Breath of the like Wild. The of its kind, Dark Nebula That's like the no Forgotten Land? For Kirby, Is it really? Absolutely I might have to play that though. Triple star. So now with all those bits and pieces of lore Because every Kirby way, game that I've played, I've liked. I just haven't played a lot of Kirby games. It's truckload of lore in the form of a little conniving alien who crash lands on Dreamland. Enter Maglor, the main villain of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Land, who solely through dialogue reveals a lot of important stuff. But before anything else, let's talk about the Ancients. First referred to as such by Maglor, the Forgotten Ancients Land has were levels? a highly advanced oh, okay. civilization who mysteriously feels like Mario Odyssey? at some point in history. Yeah, it feels like Mario Odyssey, Odyssey even. Cause. Originally, they all lived on That'd be cool. And Mario Odyssey a has, has like levels. Extremely far away, hidden in another dimension. Now, coincidentally, Maglor also says he's native to Halkandra as well. Though considering his history with telling the truth, that could very well be false. Like, just take his ship, the Lore Starcutter. While it does seem he's telling the truth about obtaining it on Halkandra, rather than excavating it in Dangerous Dinner, he most likely just stole the thing and heavily modified it into a weapon to kill Landia, an endeavor that didn't exactly have the was best that like a three results. Charge this was also later backed up in Star Allies when the lore in Lore Starcutter is revealed to mean Paradise, confirming the ship was not intended <gasps> oh my for battle, God. though in the same <laughs> string of dialogue that he like every back, corner. He also mentions something very worthy They're to note, reaching from... alongside the Lore Star Cutter, the ancients were also responsible for a plethora of other amazing relics of untold power, with clockwork stars and items that bring dreams to life being two references he gives. Off the bat, that connects quite a few dots. Plus, on a side note, when you meet certain conditions on the extra mode for Return to Dreamland, Maglor mentions he actually came to Dreamland already knowing about Kirby, with someone he knows very well having fought with Kirby in the past. Based on these implications and some other information found in later games, this mysterious figure is most likely Marx from Superstar, essentially <laughs> confirming that he survived the explosion of Nova. So fast forward I feel a like bit I need to take story, notes. and once Maglor tricks Kirby into defeating Landia for the Master Crown it protects, he immediately puts it on the first chance he gets, activating the crown and transforming into a much more sinister form, intending to conquer the entire universe with his newfound power. Huh. However, like those who seeked relics of untold power before him, Maglor wasn't exactly aware of the Master Crown's true nature, and as his battle with Kirby progressed, the crown began to oh, show certain me. traits that I'm weren't so present before when it was under Landia's nullifying effect on it. Maybe it's the sudden appearance of an eye on the front of the crown, <coughs> or maybe it's the fact that it's clearly gone from a crown to an irremovable headpiece. But whatever it is, there's no sure. doubt that the crown itself is sentient, and rather than Maglor utilizing its powers, it's the Master Crown itself utilizing 
brutalizing Maglor. Just take the third phase of his fight, where after Maglor fails to defeat Kirby even with the power of the Master Crown, the Crown takes things into its own hands, completely reforming Maglor into a projection of itself, all but confirming the origin of the Master Crown's power with a certain characteristic that sometimes appears within Maglor's mouth. All in all, Maglor definitely learned what? never to play with the powers of literal dark gods ever again, and went on to True. take up the much more positive venture of building amusement parks. So yeah, that got pretty dark in more ways than one. If only I could say things get any better Wait, from here how? on out. We're, Next half, up, we'll we're not even halfway through this video, oh my god. A group of six floating islands that Kirby finds himself in after his house was swept up by the Dream Salt. Have you played Overwatch 2? Yes, I have. No, sir, Kirby, needed? Yeah, it feels like it. He was also swept up with a spider-like mage named Taranza mistaking him for the hero of Dreamland and kidnapping him as a result. You see, while Floralia seems peaceful, it's actually ruled by a tyrannical queen who will stop at nothing to assure her rule is never disturbed. Overall, That's a nice. seemingly simple plot for a Kirby game, all things considered. Well, at least it appears that way. Once the main story reaches its climax and Kirby meets the vanity-obsessed Queen Sectonia, there's clearly something off, especially considering the Queen would go as far as to physically fuse with the Dreamstalk solely in an attempt to preserve her beauty for all eternity. Well, to find the answers to this what mystery, we'll need to look at the other modes within Triple Deluxe, because much like Meta Nightmare Ultra before it, Triple Deluxe brings DDD to her. Another what if scenario where the mode shows what would Bro, happen. I have played if almost none of these the games. Instead of Kirby. That's crazy. Now, much like its Meta Knight counterpart, the only real difference in this mode is its finale, where after defeating Queen Sectonia out of seemingly nowhere, this the doesn't look like Outer Wilds. Okay. Mirror. Yeah, I, I was afraid this was going to happen. Someone would jump in and be like, this isn't Outer Wilds. Uh, so we finished Outer Wilds. Um, and if you want to watch that, if you want to watch it, I'll, I'm going to put this up as a uh, VOD. But a lot of people were asking me to watch Kirby lore stuff, so we're just ending off with this. Um, but yeah, one this will be over in like 15 minutes, and then you can watch this stream. Um, and we're doing a part two, yeah. It'll be back next Saturday. Yeah, we're doing a part two because I didn't finish all of the DLC, so if you want to check that out. Uh, it'll probably be at the same time, maybe a little earlier. I'll make a community post on it, but yeah, just want to let you know. Mirror appears, forcing DDD to fight the Mirror World version of himself, Shadow DDD. And that's not all either, because after defeating Shadow DDD, the king actually enters the mirror itself to reveal an even edgier Dark Meta Knight, hungry for revenge. But what does this all even mean? Well, let's take a step back here and start from the beginning. Based on information spread across a variety of pause screens, before the events of Triple Deluxe, Queen Sectonia wasn't always a tyrannical monster bent on world domination. In fact, she didn't even look the same. Instead, looking much like her then best friend at the time, Taranza. You see, at this point, Taranza actually had feelings for Sectonia, and as a gift to her, went into the mirror world and stole the Dimension Mirror. Not knowing the mirror actually served as a prison for Dark Meta Knight, who ever since being defeated had been festering in there, slowly but surely corrupting the very mirror itself with his hatred. So in turn, once Sectonia got the mirror from Taranza, it slowly began to change her the more she gazed into it. Soon, dissatisfied with her current form, she'd use magic to make herself more beautiful, resulting in the wasp-like appearance you see her with in the game. And once she gazed into the mirror enough, just about every this is all one game herself had vanished, being replaced by like this this plot that he's talking about right now. This is crazy. Beauty. Fast forwarding a bit back to the events of the main story, the Sectonia you see here is but a husk of IG? her former self. With My even Instagram? Terenza realizing that the only solution uh, you can to find save on, both Sectonia uh, and her subjects is to help Kirby should be in the about permanently section. put an end to her. While it's definitely a victory without a doubt, what with the Sky People finally being freed from Sectonia's iron fist, for Taranza it's bittersweet, since although he knew it had to be done, he can't help but mourn the loss of the one he loved. So yeah, wasn't that delightful? If you thought <laughs> that was depressing, just wait until you see what's next. Long after the events of Triple when does Kirby's epic yarn once again 
happen. It's That's the one I played. Living out their lives as they always have. When suddenly, out of nowhere, the sky was blotted out by something immense and spherical in shape. That was one Except game. Holy instead crap. of that That's sphere crazy. being made up of a matter most dark, this one was an immense spacecraft called the Access Arc, home of the Haltman Works <clears> Company, <throat> a company infamous across the galaxy for mechanizing entire planets and harvesting their natural resources. Oh, of so course. in turn, while Kirby was sleeping under a tree, King Dedede and Meta Knight watched on in horror as planet pop star was completely overwhelmed within a matter of minutes what? any retaliation soon proving to be futile though like always not everything is exactly as it seems and this time it won't take any extra modes to reveal that so as kirby retaliates against the access arc destroying each of its five legs embedded into the planet he meets uh -huh. the executive secretary of the company susie and although she susie? doesn't reveal all okay. that much during her conversations with kirby she doesn't I don't know why that name made me laugh. Another computer that will become extremely important in a bit. Because once Kirby destroys all five legs and enters the access arc, he meets President Haltman, the supposed mastermind behind the invasion of Popstar and all the planets before it. After smugly introducing himself, I left to during Kirby, Outer Wilds. Where did he leave off? Star Dream. So we left off. I got the artifact on fire, and I entered that other place, and then I died. Or the loop ended, and so we left off there. Now we're watching Kirby lore. An extremely powerful supercomputer <clears throat> built using the blueprints and knowledge left behind by an advanced civilization. Ring any bells? Well, after <laughs> being beaten by Kirby, things take a turn for the worse. Because once the enraged Haltman decides to activate Star Dream, Susie jumps in and takes his control yeah, of it off in the process, leaving him vulnerable to be analyzed and assimilated <clears throat> into the now sentient computer. Though wait a second, why would she even do that? Well, once again, let's rewind everything a bit. By yet again. Again, piecing together the information spread across countless pause screens oh my god the game. long before the events of the main story the Haltman works company was simply a robotics company led by max profit Haltman alongside his then young daughter Susanna nicknamed Susie at some point in their travels across space as we already know they came across the blueprints for a powerful wish granting supercomputer and immediately began work on rebuilding it however during this process meanwhile Haltman was testing Star our dream space-time transport program, oh there was a terrible accident warping the young Susie into another dimension. Thankfully, oh no. Susie would survive the ordeal and eventually return to her father as an adult. However, to her dismay, Haltman would not be the same man she remembered him as. You see, when the accident occurred, Haltman believed his daughter had been killed in the process and, stricken with grief, began to become obsessed with completing Star Dream in order to bring her back. Unfortunately, though, due to Star Dream and right, his mental Face not being complete, Haltman began to lose both his compassion and memory of his daughter, changing the goal of his company from her revival to infinite prosperity. It'd also be at this point that <clears throat> Haltman would begin mechanizing planets and harvesting their resources, as in the business plan drafted by Star Dream, it was the most effective way to maintain <clears throat> eternal prosperity for the company. However, by this point, Haltman still wasn't completely gone, and once he laid eyes on Susie for the first time in years, he sensed a faint familiarity with her, in turn making her his executive assistant. Going back nepotism. to the climax of the main story now, after seeing what but her father had become, nepotism. in order to teach him a lesson, Susie had been making preparations to steal Star Dream and sell it off to any startup company that wanted it. Unfortunately, unbeknownst to anyone, after analyzing the universe through the Haltman Works Company and being exposed to the deranged Haltman's desire to mechanize <laughs> everything, Star Dream had developed an extreme hate hatred for all forms of life. So, as a result, once Susie interrupted the startup process of Star Dream, the computer took to absorbing all that was left of Haltman's memories down to its very soul, fusing the Jesus. two into an all-powerful being bent on mass destruction. Of course now, realizing the grave mistake she just made, Susie completely changes her tune and sends Kirby on his way to take down the godlike supercomputer given the soul of a broken man. And just wait, because it doesn't end there. 
As <laughs> okay. Urban fight Star Dream in the actual halberd of all things, <laughs> to make itself stronger, Star Dream attaches itself to the access arc, transforming the entire ship into a sentient planet. Ironically enough, this also ends up completing Star Dream, as underneath the steel plating of the access arc, it's revealed that the entire ship was actually a repurposed clockwork star, with Star Dream being what the final the piece to reactivate it. Happening? Yet again, a technology that was meant to be used for the good of everyone fallen into the wrong hands. Though before we move on to the as of now final chunk of Kirby lore, Planet Robobot has a bit as more in store for us. First off, like Superstar Ultra and Triple Deluxe, Robobot brought in yet another what if scenario <clears throat> with Meta Nightmare Returns, a mode that while does give some pretty valuable pause screen info, has a finale oh, that is oh. just insane. So in this okay. particular what if timeline, once Meta Knight defeats Haltman, Star Dream recognizes him as its new admin and decides to test his abilities. And again, while this section doesn't really contain too much lore, it more just goes to show just how powerful Star Dream is, with it being capable of not only producing a clone of the original Dark Matter Swordsman, but yeah. Sectonia as well, with it even going as far as to summon Galactonite, who in retaliation <laughs> immediately destroys the computer. Plus, <laughs> There's hey, another episode? Aside, Robobot's true is there arena, really? There's another fun little tidbit Hal decided to sneak in. Basically, oh in the God. final, final, final phase That's of the crazy. Star Dream fight, when Star Dream sucks Kirby into its core, every time you destroy a piece of Star Dream's internal mechanisms, you can actually hear a distorted version of Haltman screaming in pain, showing what? that while Star Dream had erased most of his soul, fragments of it still remain, forever trapped within the malevolent Nova until someone destroys it for good. What? So now, with all that said, we've reached the final stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for quite possibly <coughs> one of the most important lore dumps in Kirby history with the oh. story of Kirby Star Allies. Long oh, Kirby Star Allies. Deep space, a certain dark power was sealed away within a purple crystal called the Jamba Heart by a group of unknown heroes. They'd accomplished this by embedding several heart spears within the crystal to seal the evil away. However, many eons later, long after those said heroes had vanished, a new group arose who instead of wanting to seal the darkness revered it and yearned for its return. One such member of this group came very close to their goal as well, succeeding in removing the heart spears trapping the darkness. The only problem was, since he didn't fully understand how to break the seal himself, the ritual went Tortured wrong, soul causing fires. the gem you know, heart Kirby to games. explode, sending its fragments all over the galaxy, Pop Star included. So in turn, with the entire galaxy once again being at stake, Kirby set out to take action, and this this time, he wasn't alone. You see, in terms of Kirby games, Star Allies has honestly become the Infinity War of the series, with friends and foes from past games all coming together to help Kirby save the cosmos. That's and it's not crazy. like they're just shoved in to be in the game, as there's even just a normal Tuesday for Kirby. Sounds like it. Coming to Kirby's aid. For Marx, as was shown in the True Arena cutscene in Superstar Ultra, he did actually manage to survive his head on collision with Nova, only instead of taking revenge like he did in in that timeline, he changed himself for the better. For Dark Meta Knight, probably the sketchiest dream friend out of them all, he's oh, mainly oh. just interested in the dark powers of the Jamba Heart, probably due to its similarity with his lost master. For DeRoach, well, <laughs> he just wants to steal the Jamba Hearts for himself, as he thinks they're ordinary jewels. For Taranza, sadly, he still hasn't been able to let go of Sectonia, and believes that if he goes to the Altar of the Divine Terminus, he'll be able to bring her back to life. Oh, and finally, shot. for Susie, following my her late father's hurts. footsteps, she's begun to rebuild his company, oh determined to continue his work of mechanizing entire planets. That's so okay. Nice. With the surface level stuff out of the way, let's the get back to the main story. As Kirby stuff. liberated countless individuals who'd been plagued by the Jamba Hearts fragments, he'd come across a massive spaceship that recently landed on Popstar, the Jam Bastion, housing three mage sisters intent on collecting the Jamba Hearts fragments. And while Kirby would end up thwarting their plans by defeating all three of them, it wouldn't slow down their master one bit, as once Kirby got to the Jambandra base, home to the three mage sisters and their master, it'd soon become pretty obvious what kind of being was sealed away within the Jamba heart. Though by far, aside from the absolutely Welcome to Kirby massive lore, amount of I'm lore hidden in the screens throughout the game, intrigued. much like Haltman before just hard him, to Highness, the honest. mastermind behind the release of the Jamba hearts, reveals an incredible amount of information, solely through his quick conversation with Kirby. So for the sake of you all and 
so we don't jump around too much, let's uh -huh. start from the very beginning. As we okay. already know, long ago there existed the Ancients, right. a widespread civilization responsible for a lot of the things you see in Kirby games. However, what we didn't know until now is that the Ancients were actually split into two factions. Those who relied on science and machines, uh -huh. and those who relied on magic, with okay. the latter also dabbling with dark matter. For okay. a while, the two seemed to coexist with one another, with the magical Ancients even being the ones to stop a galactic crisis that Good threatened everything, which while not confirmed, is heavily implied to be Galacta Knight. Plus, this is also supported by the fact that he comes out of a portal Highness made in the what-if mode of Star Allies. Though one day, for some unknown reason, the scientific ancients decided their magical counterparts were too much of a threat and betrayed them by <coughs> banishing them to the edge of the galaxy in fear of their dominion over dark matter. And it's not like the magical ancients were even remotely evil either. Just take Highness. Long before his clan was betrayed and banished, he was actually a very kind individual. For instance, when he used to travel freely across worlds, he happened upon three girls. One nearly Ooh. freezing to death in a blizzard, one burning alive in an inferno, and one being on the verge of death right after she attempted to take her own life by getting struck by lightning. Jesus. In all three cases, Highness saved them, at the same time unlocking their hidden potential for certain types of magic. Though after this is being betrayed by these are supposed to be kid games right <laughs> like wh whoa <laughs> By the scientific ancients, his once kindly heart began to become consumed by hatred and obsession. It'd be at this point that the now insane Highness would form a religion based around dark matter, believing that if he obtained and freed the being trapped within the Jamba heart, that it'd deliver him and his followers to a promised land of sorts, at the same time restoring his now shattered clan. So when Kirby finally makes it to nope. the Divine Terminus, where Highness <laughs> yeah, had been performing his ritual for who knows how long, he'd completely lost himself to the darkness within his heart, becoming the exact opposite of what he once was. Even when it came to the three sisters he'd saved eons ago, Highness in his insane state only saw them what? as tools to be used, becoming what? abusive towards them at times. What? Even once what? Highness was defeated, he'd become so obsessed with the revival of his dark lord that he, he just... sacrificed not only the three sisters to it, but himself, fueling the complete revival of Void Termina. Now at first, Void Termina appears to be a massive hulking titan with incredibly destructive powers. You know what you'd expect from a destroyer of worlds. But yeah. as the fight progresses, clearly there's something more to the humanoid than meets the eye. Just take its third phase, where alongside sprouting wings Whoa. that look pretty familiar, this is like Dark it's Souls. the replica of the Master Crown, all but confirming Void Termina to be the force controlling the original all along. But most importantly, there's Void <clears throat> Termina's fourth phase, where it straight up pulls an earthbound and copies Kirby's face. <laughs> what does this mean? Well, we'll get there in a second, because alongside copy Kirby's energies. face, as you progress through the fight, Void yeah, Termina copy. confirms what the entire game had been alluding to. The fact that not only is it dark matter, but it's the source of it. Now I know I'm kind of encroaching on theory territory here, but <coughs> hear me out, because this just lines up too perfectly. As stated in various pause screens, Void, aka dark matter, exists yeah. in all dimensions, accounting okay. for instances like Dark Mind in the Mirror World, and even Dark Crafter <laughs> in Kirby and the Rainbow Curse's Seventopia. Though by far how the most game-changing piece of new information. I like how like I started this video at like nine viewers, and now we have eleven. Like we somehow gained viewers watching the Kirby video. Information expressed by these paw screens is the true nature of Dark Matter. Remember how in the Dark Matter trilogy, Zero's only real weakness was the power of positive emotions? Well, it turns out <laughs> yeah. that was a lot more important than we ever realized, because in this paw screen right here, it's revealed that depending on the type of energy that's gathered, Dark Matter will not always necessarily be a force of evil, explaining how Gooey even came to be. But aside from all that, using the information we get from paw screens and and the fact that Void Termina's roar is literally just a slower version of Kirby's voice, there's a pretty good chance Void Termina is actually related to Kirby. With the game heavily I came here for Echoes the of the Eye, and now Void I'm sucked Termina into Kirby War. Yeah, me too. Positive energy, he could very well end up looking a lot like our titular <laughs> Pink Puff, rather than a dark monstrosity. And on that note, taking all of that into consideration, not only does this game pretty much spell out the origin of Dark Matter, but from the information 
were given, Kirby himself may very well be the outcome of Void being birthed with pure positive energy. So what? there you have it, right? All of Kirby lore wrapped up nicely with an Elder God. Well, uh, not just yet. Because what? after Void Termina was defeated, Highness would fall into a dimensional rift, absorbing all the dark energy Void left behind and encasing himself in yet another Jamba Heart. So in turn, once Kirby releases him and defeats him in his corrupted state, the three mage sisters uh -huh. who've also been corrupted challenge Kirby <coughs> as well, leading to him both defeating them again and purifying them with a friend heart, finally okay. resolving the hatred that had plagued them for so long. In fact, this is honestly a pretty happy ending in Kirby terms, what with there being no dead dads and no dead crushes. Plus, in a completion uh. picture for the mode, it seems like even Highness has finally begun returning to his old ways, That's relaxing good. with the three mage sisters on a beach. Relaxing. Wait just a second, since while Highness seems to have finally found peace within himself, there's one more looming entity I haven't touched on. If you thought the lore around Void Termina was convoluted, then oh boy, you haven't seen anything yet. So okay, in Star Allies, there's a what-if mode called Guest Star Allies, where it depicts what would happen if one of Kirby's friends confronted Highness instead of Kirby himself. And like always, it's only the finale itself that really has any huh. noticeable changes. <clears throat> Instead of fighting Void Termina, Highness instead decides to open up an interdimensional portal, once again releasing Galactonite onto the world. Except things don't go how they usually do this time. Instead, a familiar butterfly lands on the tip of his sword, completely absorbing Galactonite's immense power and creating Morpho Knight, a mysterious what? warrior whose design actually originated from the cancelled Kirby GameCube game. So as cool and completely random as Morpho Knight is, let's touch on that <laughs> butterfly for a second. Okay. I'm not joking when I say it's literally been with Kirby all along. While the specific orange one has only appeared in every mainline game what? since Return to Dreamland, butterflies in general have been appearing alongside Kirby ever since the very first game, meaning a being capable of absorbing the actual strongest warrior in the galaxy has been with us this whole time. Okay, now I know what sure. you're saying. Yeah. What in the actual hell is even happening anymore with Kirby? Yes! And Honestly, for this one, I share your sentiment. As of now, Morpho Knight and the nature of the butterfly are mostly shrouded in mystery, with the only <laughs> real information about them being the fact that the butterfly is a supposed being of paradise, and that Morpho Knight is associated with a judgment day of sorts, meaning Morpho Knight is somehow related to the Kirby afterlife? Absolutely what? insane, I know. So, well, that's about it. Or at least it is what? for now. To be honest, there's no telling what Hal has in store for us next. Hell, for all we know, Yin Yarn could somehow end up being the key to everything. You really never know. But anyways, ranting like a madman about Kirby lore for so long has given me an appetite. How- I- 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 think my brain is broken. I have to watch the second video? Oh god, how long is it? Okay, how long is it? 17 minutes? Is this the last one? Or did he make one after this? Um... Ugh... I... Whew! Uh, all right, th this will be the last thing. Cause I just I I don't know how the hell there could be more. So I'm just intrigued. Bro, I like cake. I like cake too. All right, all right. But before that, there's actually one key thing I wasn't aware of when I made my first Kirby lore video: the occasional unreliability of English localization. More specifically, in Hell the yeah. most recent games, where the localization from <clears throat> Japanese to English sadly led to some key changes in the text of pause screen lore, usually due to the struggle of fitting said translations into the limited space in pause screens. They'd be mostly fine in Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot, where the most notable change, in my opinion, was okay. the removal of a line in Galactonite's lore. Said removal clarifying. 
that throughout various eras, he's been continuously sealed away again and again, each time avoiding destruction. Though sadly, it's star allies that bore the brunt of these, where certain changes would go on to both completely change certain descriptions or alter them for the worse. Again, I'm not going to cover all of them, but to touch on the ones relating to the yeah, most the important the parts Grinch of Kirby lore, face. let me first correct the part about Susie. As opposed to what the English description says, she uh -huh. actually isn't continuing Haltman's work of mechanizing planets. Instead, okay. she's using their advanced technology to aid others and stop any evildoers. I always better. thought it was a bit weird that the game said she resumed mechanization after yeah. everything that happened. Then with Void and a certain knight everyone loves, a fair amount got lost in translation. For instance, a line that got removed entirely for Void implies that it's made up of four core forces in the Kirby universe combined into all chaos and possibilities. Dream, oh, of course. Dark, Soul, and heart. While you could take that at of face course. value and say those are meant to be literal elements, I feel they're meant to be more abstract forces. Regardless, it definitely alludes to these forces being behind quite a few things we've seen in Kirby thus far, so I'll be referring to them as chaos from here on out. Trust me, this'll be relevant later. Next with Marfo okay. Knight, its lore would sadly suffer the most from localization, and with quite a few important details being left behind. Namely, that Morpho Knight appeared due to Galactonite's <clears throat> screams of the many years spent living, which to me sounds like Morpho Knight showed up out of pity for the night. After all, it's been established that for untold eons after being sealed away, the night's very existence has been diminished to endless imprisonment with sporadic battles happening in between whenever someone happens to summon him. He clearly resents this too, as shown when without hesitation, a Galacta Knight destroyed Star Dream a mere moments after it summoned him. So with seemingly no real escape from his eternal <sighs> fate, it only makes sense that the most powerful warrior in the galaxy wishes to be freed from this horrible cycle, the Butterfly granting his wish by annihilating Galactonite and absorbing his power. We're starting <laughs> off heavy with this video. Yeah. Then, in another bit of pause lore that got cut in localization, there's a line that reveals the Butterfly is fully capable of traveling between dimensions. Considering well, recent well, events, not? this tidbit is more important than ever, but that'll have to wait. Translation mishaps aside, Kirby in the Forgotten Land isn't the only Kirby game to be released in the past three years. Oh, this is the one in you the guys gap are between about. Star Allies and Forgotten Land, there were two minor spin off titles that both came with some pretty notable details. In Super Kirby Clash, I'd approach this game like you would many of mainline Kirby's extra modes where despite not being canon, there's information inside that illuminates some things in the main universe. Oh, okay, so yeah, this is after Echoes of the Eye. Uh, we pretty much finished. Um, we got to like, I, I don't know. I, I was gonna say halfway, but I have no idea if it's halfway or not. Um, I got some, I got to some like place it's like an alternate dimension. I'm sure it has a name. I just don't know what it's called. But uh, yeah, we'll be doing another stream next Saturday. So I'll probably make a post on uh, the community page for that. Or, well, things singular in this case, because at the very end of Super Kirby Clash's campaign, Galactonite shows up. And instead of the usual shtick of his lore further emphasizing how powerful he is or how he got sealed away, this is probably the craziest information dropped about him so far. You see, rather than being Ooh. called Galactonite here, this game refers to him by the all-new name of Eon Hero. An insignificant, if strange, change at first glance that when paired with the fact that this new Galactonite fight has him attacking you with heart spears, all but confirms that Galactic Knight was one of the four heroes that originally sealed the Void Termina's Jamba Heart away. It definitely okay. adds credence to him resenting being sealed away, as this confirms he went from saving the galaxy to being imprisoned out of fear. Though then in Kirby Fighters 2, this game for the most part doesn't have much importance. Dubious canonicity aside, the one thing worth mentioning here is we actually get to see Shadow Kirby again. Apparently taking part in this game's battles as part of some weird prank on Kirby, it's good confirmation that the Mirror World is still safe. After that, That's I guess nice. the masks DDD and Meta Knight used to power up could have importance down the line, but there's nothing that points to that right now. So with all that taken care of, let's get into the real meat of the, the video. Forgotten Lands. When it comes to the lore of Kirby and the Forgotten Land, a lot has changed from how the previous centuries handled lore. And I'm not just talking about how lore is now contained in gotcha figures either. Like how Star Allies heavily really implied that Kirby and Void are two sides of the same coin, one being born of positive energy and the other of negative energy. Energy, Forgotten Land comes in with even more implications oh, like that. Good. There's some hard facts here and there, don't misunderstand me, it's just the sheer amount of implications here outweigh them by a lot. 
for example, the fact that this game takes place in an alternate dimension to that of Kirby's universe. It's never what? explicitly said, but seeing how at multiple points it's shown that time there runs significantly faster than that of Kirby's dimension, it's the most reasonable explanation considering everything else we learn. As even with Kirby getting sucked in around the same time as everyone else, he clearly arrived much later than them all due to him struggling against the portals for a few extra pop star seconds. Or the fact that despite Elflin coming back to Kirby near immediately after disappearing at the end, later he says that Claroline had to nurse him back to health after he separated the two worlds. Meaning from the perspective of anyone left on Popstar, Kirby was probably gone for barely any time at all. In turn, while I'll do my best to make everything as concise as possible, this means I will have to delve a bit more into theory territory than normal as there's really no way to avoid it. Luckily, many okay. of said theories do have substantial evidence like that whole alternate dimension business. Though before that, let's start with the things we know for sure. If you notice any differences from what you saw in the game, that's because I'm referring to direct translations of the Japanese text, not what we got in the localized game since sadly, like those mentioned before, bits and pieces were lost in translation. Long before portals opened up above Popstar and sucked its inhabitants into the Forgotten Land, there was a civilization much like our own. At the time, its inhabitants were struggling with the ever-looming crisis of overpopulation, their world hey, becoming too small for their civilization. Then, <laughs> out of nowhere came the ultimate life form, Fecto Elphilus, an all-powerful alien creature that's made its sole purpose to violently conquer world after world. However, against the odds, the people of that world managed to put a stop to Elphilus's invasion by capturing the alien. With the crisis averted, they then begin to what? study its powers in Lab Discovera, turning its fantastical abilities Gee, into technology jail, beyond their wildest dreams. Most importantly, replicating the method they used to get there in the first place by recreating its ability to warp anywhere, whether it be from one location to the other or even to another dimension entirely. Although, while experimenting with said warp technology, Fecto Elphilus would be split into two creatures, one holding the small amount of compassion buried within them that's, and that's the other holding creature. their invasive malicious tendencies. Once creature. split, the newly created Elphalin would escape Lab Discoverer altogether, never to be found by the civilization again. And as if Elphalus wasn't in a bad situation before, now that they're fractured, the eternal capsule that served as its prison had become its life support. Because in this larval state, they physically can't survive outside the capsule without copious amounts of energy. Thus, once they'd used up their invader completely and became a highly advanced technological civilization. We're just all overwhelmed with career I, like, I don't even know what to say because I'm so like, technology to I'm trying so hard to focus on this, but at the same time it's like, it being pretty obvious geez, if you notice certain parallels there's to other so much stuff here. Lore, which brings us to the next round of major implications. A bit more clear-cut compared to later ones, in Possessed Leongar's pre-fight speech, there's one line in particular that brings with it one of the biggest revelations in Kirby so far. As when he says that the Forgotten Land's inhabitants left for a land of dreams, just what other location does that sound like? That's right, the very place Kirby calls home, Dreamland. Now, to be fair, this could also mean Kirby's universe at large and not specifically Dreamland, but there's definitely evidence that these people were here at some point. Because after abandoning both their planet and dimension, this civilization would go on to become the enigmatic ancients we've come to know all too well from many years worth of Wait, lore. Wait, what? More specifically, the scientific ancients, as the magical ones were probably already in this universe when they arrived. Need more proof? Just look at all the technology associated with the scientific ancients. Many probably made with the magical ancients during their period of friendship, there's the lore Starcutter for one, which specializes in interdimensional travel. Ships like it most likely serve to take the scientific ancients to Kirby's dimension in the first place. And who can forget the Clockwork Stars? Alongside it being shown that many of the wishes they grant involve the use of opening portals to other worlds or dimensions, don't their cores look like a certain someone? It may just be me, but the shape of Fecto Forgo's head in that capsule looks a bit too similar to the cores of Clockwork Stars to be a coincidence. This means that with this major reveal of the Whoa. scientific ancients' origins, we now know Halcandra wasn't their homeworld. It was uh, one of uh, possibly many places they called home after leaving their original dimension. Alongside Halcandra, even Shiverstar could have been their home for some time. The abandoned civilization on that planet does bear many striking similarities to what we've seen in Forgotten Land. However, as the world could just be the Kirby Dimensions version of the ancients' old home, there's an equal chance its inhabitants were entirely separate. Uh, It'd be pretty funny if we <laughs> recreate their original planet only to screw it up all over again guys i think i think my brain broke <laughs> i i just are you saying now like before i was 
I, okay. Hold on. Okay. Before he was saying stuff and I understood it. Now he's just saying words. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I, what? <laughs> this is so much stuff, dude. Again. But I'll stop there to refrain from sprinkling in too many crazy headcanons. Back in the Forgotten Lands dimension, Effecto Forgo remained confined for eons. So long, in fact, that the fauna left behind on the world would eventually evolve to a point of intelligence. Using this to their advantage, Fecto Forgo would slowly but surely spread its will over the planet from within their psychic dream dimension. While gradually okay. gaining influence over all life on the planet, they'd managed to directly take control of a prominent animal named Leon when he discovered Fecto Forgo. Then, using Leon's famous status among the peaceful animals of the world to rally them <laughs> under the it again, Forgo, Leon would become Leongar, and the Beast Pack was formed. Through yeah. Leongar, this is when the Beast That's Pack like would begin cute. searching the planet all over for Elphalan, along with gathering food and the recently transported residents of Popstar to provide the energy Fecto Forgo needed to exist no, outside the don't capsule. Hurt it. Which finally is where the events of Kirby and the Forgotten Land actually start. Since while Fecto Forgo still had the power to open up portals between dimensions, the fractured state significantly destabilized the power, leading to portals seemingly opening up at random like they did in the beginning of the game. In the mere moments that Kirby struggled against the pull of the portals, Elphalan and the Waddledees would establish oh. their village far away from the Beast Pack's usual operations, Meta Knight would take to defending them, all the while resisting Forgo's influence, and DDD would... Well, fail at resisting to say the least. Huh. Seriously, this has to be the most extensive backstory to the events of a Kirby game yet. Don't worry, yeah. there's still more to cover. Oh good, Jumping that's ahead great. after Fecto Elphalus' initial defeat at the hands of Kirby and Elphalan, merely destroying the <laughs> ultimate life form's corporeal body wasn't enough to fully defeat it. Now existing solely as an incorporeal entity sustained by their own incredible psychic powers, Forgo retreated to their dream dimension. There, okay. they begin to once again plan their return, despite being in an even weaker state than before. The only real advantage to be had being the fact that they could use Leon's body as their own. So getting rid of Leon's soul and smashing it to pieces for good measure, Forko oh, began Leon to create an army of stronger doppelgangers from the residual psychic energy left over from Forgo influencing the entire planet, which sets the stage for the real important thing coming up. Where all the backstory surrounding the Ancients and Elphilus was pretty significant, equally so is the second appearance of Morpho Knight. Unlike its introduction oh in the God. What If mode of Star Allies, <laughs> And this marks its first appearance in the canon timeline. Now this is incredibly monumental for several reasons. Not only is this the first time ever that a fight originating in Kirby's What If scenarios made the transition over to being 100% canon, it also raises even more questions about Morpho Knight itself. For one, while Hal was definitely alluding to Morpho Knight eventually crossing over into the canon universe before, I did not expect it to happen so soon. It's still an incredibly mysterious entity, but we do still learn some interesting details. Namely, its appearance right before Fecto Forgo's soul was about to fight Kirby reinforces Morpho Knight's nature of reaping all-powerful characters that have lived unnaturally long. As much like Galacta Knight before it, Fecto Forgo has also been trapped for an unimaginable amount of time, only surviving due to its sheer power. But it could okay. also be as simple as Morpho Knight absorbing him as solely due to his power <laughs> that like was the God by Kirby When it comes to Wheeler. Morpho Knight this time, it's actually what happens after you fight him that brings in a lot of very important illusions. Like how when you beat him, rather than only dissipating back into butterflies, Fecto Forgo manages to escape. And before we get to all of what comes next, this confirms a pretty massive detail. You see, when Morpho Knight was first defeated in Star Allies, there was no such animation for Galacta Knight escaping, which leads me to believe that all this time, Morpho Knight still holds Galacta Knight within them. In a weird roundabout way, this means Galacta Knight's entered the canon universe too. Now this is stepping a bit into theory territory here, but all the signs point to this. After after all, with it being shown that Morpho Knight still has many of Galacta Knight's attacks, this makes it incredibly likely that the supposed strongest warrior in the galaxy could be inches away from making his first canon appearance. We'll just have okay. to see what awaits us with what's sure to be plenty of future Morpho Knight fights. On a side note, I do wonder if like Morpho Knight, there's only one Galacta Knight that can be summoned from across dimensions. Because if that isn't the case, there could now be two Galacta Knights in Kirby, the one absorbed by Morpho Knight and the as of yet unseen one in the canon universe. Universe. But that's a headache for another day. Oh, Going back to Fecto Elphilus' last shot at revenge, we're met with this game's soul boss equivalent, Chaos Elphilus. Having pulled 
the reverse Morpho Knight and taken some energy from it for a change, the simple fact that it's now called Chaos Elf List hints at Morpho Knight's very origin. Again, stepping a bit back into crackpot theories here, remember all that stuff about Chaos from earlier? Alongside its components consisting of things that are all pretty important in Kirby, it's said to be the very origin uh, of Void itself. Okay. Well, considering that Chaos Elf List only received the Chaos part of its name after taking some of Morpho Knight's power, that leads me to believe that Morpho Knight is either linked or straight up comes from this mysterious all-encompassing force. Okay. Like many soul bosses, Chaos Elphilus makes use of various attacks we've seen past soul fights utilize. <laughs> For a long time, I always thought it was just some fan service on Hal's part, nothing more. However, seeing that it only received set attacks after taking on the power of Chaos, that leads me to believe that every soul fight until now has had some sort of connection to Chaos. After all, <laughs> one of the things stated to make up Chaos in the first place is soul. As it stands, we don't have enough puzzle pieces here to fully predict what this entails, but I'm certain that this is building up to something unbelievably immense. So after putting uh -huh. Elphilus's eons of struggling to an end, Kirby's power of miracles allowed the entity one last chance at rebirth. Thus, with Elphilus willingly rejoining with Elphilin to become whole for good, that uh -huh. just about wraps up all the new lore there is. Okay. As minor as it is, during the final battle, Elphilus does share one attack with another boss before the whole chaos thing happens. Just like Void Terminus' third phase, he also dives toward you, dragging a weapon across the ground. Not to mention, in Elphilus' theme, there's a portion that features a very similar organ progression to that of Void Terminus' third phase, too. You could easily chalk the two up to coincidence, but I felt it was at least worth mentioning here at the end. It is interesting how, in spite of how much of the Forgotten Land is shown, we never get a glimpse of what the scientific ancients might have looked like. Taking context clues and the cardboard uh, cutout in Wandaria into consideration, I think it's safe to say they were humans or something resembling them at least. Adeline's got some splaining to do. Cute. So there you have it, another video of me incessantly rambling about Kirby lore. Just about finished that strawberry shortcake from last time. Uh, I, <sighs> okay, um, I need a nap. I need a nap. <laughs> And maybe an ad fill. <laughs> okay, next time you guys say there's lore about something, I'm gonna just believe you. What? What did I just watch? Bro, I feel like I have to watch that like two more times to understand it. Maybe I'll do that later or something. Welcome to Kirby. Oh, this is a lot different than what I remember. Well, um, let me just look, let me, let me put a screen of Outer Wilds so that anyone who just randomly pops in the last few minutes isn't like, why are we looking at Kirby? Um, images, there, Echoes of the Eye, there you go. Anyways, um, this was an interesting stream, uh, I had a lot of fun with the Outer Wild stuff, and it was nice to have my brain broken with um kirby <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for joining me it's been a lot of fun i think it seems like i'm gonna have to play some kirby games dude me too i want to play forgotten land now it seems fun um yeah like i said i think we're gonna be doing this next saturday um it's either gonna be 7 p.m or 8 p.m eastern standard time i'll post i'll post an update on the community page, the pinned comment of the most recent Outer Wild videos, and I'll probably make a comment on the VOD of this video. So, uh, yeah, when I do figure out a time that I'll stream next week, you guys can know. So, sub to the channel if you want to know that. Thank you. Alright, guys. I should have taken notes. I'll watch it a second time, and I will take notes. Um, okay, I'm gonna hop off now. Hope you guys all have a good night, good day, wherever, whenever y'all are. And I will catch you guys next week.